Oh my god, people. This is... this is madness. What just happened? What just happened? I was gonna do this live stream either way, and then this news just falls into your lap, and you gotta talk about it. It has just been re reported by WWE that um, it's due to meningitis. You should have punched your landlord while having the meningitis. Uh, Roman Reigns is out of the main event at TLC, and he's gonna be replaced by Kurt Angle. Like, with two days' notice, they're going to have Kurt Angle return to the ring in a WWE ring for the first time since 06. Oh my god, that is madness. Because the plan, I think, was always to have him come back at Mania. That would make more sense, but nope, they're just dumping him right in there. Like, it's, it's, it's exciting. I'm really excited to see Kurt Angle get back in the ring. But at the same time, your roster is that thin and that fucked up that... He's the he's the best choice you have out of the active roster. You had to unretire Kurt Angle to get this thing over. Oh my God, um, that's weird enough. And then yeah, I'm not even gonna play this game for a few minutes. I want to just vent and talk about this right now. It's 2K18 for the PS4 for those of you who are keeping score. Oh my God. Um, so there's that. Kurt Angle is gonna come back. It's exciting, but at the same time, like I don't know. Maybe if you booked some more people to be actual stars, you wouldn't be so fucked like this. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> DJ Bout It Dan said it best. AJ Styles is Sister Abigail. That's the other piece of news. Bray Wyatt is out of the match. No Sister Abigail reveal. It's going to be AJ Styles to replace him to take on Finn Balor, which is a money match. That is like you could easily draw a big old house with that match right there. But they're giving it away with zero build. Like it's a, it's gonna. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a match or a show that they're just gonna scrub for the record books. This shit never happened. This is, oh my god. <laughs> that is the that, is, that it has to be the craziest news, probably of 2017, just given like all the circumstances. There's been some wild news this year and wild things happening, but I feel like the craziest of like half your. You know, some of your top names are gone, and you have to totally rewrite the show, and you have to unretire your Hall of Fame GM. <laughs> I I don't know what else you could say about this. I think people will be tuning into TLC a lot more. The buy rate for this show just went way the hell up. Network subscriptions are on the rise because people want to see Kurt Angle come back, um, and they want to see Finn and AJ. Oh man, and you know what's What's funny um, about the? I first heard that. Well, that's not funny because meningitis, I'm sure, is terrible, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Um, but you like the first story I heard was that Bray, JoJo, and Bo Dallas were the first one of the victim patient zero for the meningitis thing. And like <laughs> my first thought was, well, that makes sense because Bray and JoJo were a thing. That's why Bray getting divorced. Wait, what's Bo doing getting involved? That's what? Oh. Randy will start the new Wyatt family. <laughs> Get both. <laughs> oh man, because uh, this is truly messed up and nothing matters anymore. I do want to show you guys my special, <laughs> my you know, my indulgent caw. Because <laughs> um, I feel like, um, I feel like oh, that's my biggest pet peeve is when I put online and everyone has these super stacked. CAWs, and I'm like, I, I always want to fight honorably and fight with a real person, so they're cheating. But I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play online with this guy, but I am going to be super indulgent and make one of these guys. Uh, you don't care. You don't care the backstory of the BFG. <laughs> you don't care the the 19 year history of this character in my mind. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I just want to hear, yeah, hear some of your thoughts about this crazy news. Kurt Angle replacing Roman Reigns in the main event at TLC and AJ Styles versus Finn due to that daggum meningitis. Um, I'm having pizza. Fuck it. Man, that's like oh, my mind is blown. I can't. I can't handle it. Actually here. Uh, yeah, so you can't hear the, the, the music of this entrance, but believe me, it's cool. Because it stings music when he came back to WWE, so it's like it's dun, dun. Then at the, before the, the guitar kicks in, boom, Kane Pyro. Then the rest of the thing plays. 
The lighting turns red. I think it's a fucking badass entrance. He's got, he's got the glowing parts of his outfit, too. Men and Jazz are all fame. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Yeah, Finn with Maybe 70, I think it would make sense. Ring. You're right. From the other side um, of darkness, they, they, they didn't take away a match. They just drastically changed two of them. That's a good, that's a good, uh, good question. Because Finn probably is the next man up, next people they up. So, I guess if you want to say, um, if you want a replacement that's not Kurt Angle, that doesn't involve unretiring Kurt, then yeah, Finn's probably the best choice. And he can still do the demon thing. Um, that is weird. I mean, they, they, they took, you tell me they, they couldn't add some other big car matches to another time. Meningitis versus Bacon. I want to make that that uh, co co costume. <laughs> I play the role of Meningitis. Yeah, TLC has got a lot more interesting than it was before. They don't even give him like a tastefully dressed lady to come out with. Oh no, he, oh he brings them out. Wait a minute. Can you break out and like, or yeah, there you go. Where's this going? Okay, I'm sick of this shit. To be a highlight reel. Oh, the, oh, the ladies disappear. That's sad. I just want to deserve beating on. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to. I don't take out of context. <laughs> but I want to beat some hoes. <laughs> and the BFG to toss them around and stuff. His strikes have a little ah. extra on them tonight. He Boom. Down with a so yeah, the BFG is the maximum height at seven four. I made him four hundred ninety nine pounds. <laughs> The 500 was too easy. Yeah, I'm surprised this Angle could pass the medical, to be perfectly honest. Boom! Amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of great. Yeah, this, I mean, was truly the best. yeah, we'll be going back, it's back to this done. information we'll for, this uh, for a bit a about... Time. We're going this back to this, this the top story. To I had no intention of talking about this. that. I was just going to well, be a regular actually, live stream. But then this happened. This been for, um, sure yeah, I think it does speak to the the uh, oh, difficulty they've had right writing for As stars, away, like making stars WWE on both shows. Because like, like we said, Finn might be the one person you could conceivably put in Roman Reigns' place without a retiring Kurt. But I feel like they should do more than that. I feel they should have more people built up or like on the cut. I'd be like, Jason Jordan is someone I would have picked, like honestly, in kind of a storyline way, I think it would make sense to have Jordan replace Reigns because Jordan is like the one who has the grudge with The Miz. And it's like Kurt Angle trying to put him, he's, he's earned this opportunity. And like maybe like the, 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 the plan would change and Team Miz would win and it would be Jason taking the fall. I don't know. But I feel like that would be, it would be interesting. Would it be more interesting than Kurt Angle coming back? No. But that would be my stopgap for, you know, to, to prevent from pulling the trigger on Kurt coming back. Just shoulder of any strength that has left. Brendan Fraser from the Dazzle. I don't know. Uh, any new reviews coming soon? Well, you know, I, I make reviews every, excuse me, every Thursday. Well, my long forms, at least, are every Thursday. And I call those reviews. But I guess um, if we're talking more video game reviews, I don't know when the next one I'll be doing that. So, I'm sorry. But he's really working the neck, brother. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. My, my Twitter's in shambles. I move like that. It's yeah, I mean, nice hell, you could even bring back uh, position, uh, Matt Hardy. Have him be broken Matt Hardy. That'd be a great return. Hey, by the way, Sinister Moon is dropping to him And, like, the finish is like a choke slam or whatever. Boom! He's dead! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. That's a squash match for the end. Ladies. This could be it. The cover, and this one's Hell history. Fast what lane debut be? for the BFG. No more previews. I don't know. You get a lot of uh, different comments about the whole news. People are wondering what's going to happen with the Broken Hardys. What is going to happen with the Broken Hardys? Hell, I mean, Jeff's out. Oh, shit, I didn't want to do this. Um, Jeff is out, and who knows when they're actually going to pull the trigger on Matt becoming broken, so... The issue of what about the Broken Hardys? It's the same now as it was then. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that. Uh, thank you for. Thank you for putting me on your phone, Patrick. 
Now, that's kind of a thing, too, with the uh, Mercenin. BFG is Vince's wet dream. I wanted to originally name him <laughs> or, like, insert the sound of Vince orgasm here. That would be the wrestler's name. <laughs> um, it's not what it looks like. Not at all. Meningitis, but to better pay-per-view. <laughs> all right, let's uh, do a real thing. Let's go online. Why not? Um, send me some invitations if you got them. Shit, I'm to do. Try and, I'll try and do some more, accept some more friend requests to make some online matches, all kind of fun stuff. Wish there was an accept all things. I kind of want to drill through these. I got to lots. All right, that's enough for now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they had to win the case before they could do the broken gimmick. Yes, we're, yes, Mystic Ranger, we are talking about the changes. Um, can the Sister Abigail story arc can be saved? That is, I think, one of the biggest questions for me, because I think I'm one of the few people who was excited about Sister Abigail reveal and seeing what they could do with that. I think I'm like the one person on Earth <laughs> who thinks that way. But... Um, But yeah, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Piece of pizza crust in my throat. <coughs> the fact that um, you know we we won't know where this goes from here unless just like Bray Wyatt or unless AJ puts on a wig or something and puts on makeup. <laughs> this is the house that Sister Abigail built. <coughs> Can the face can't be larger? Uh, are you being sarcastic? Sir, I mean, it's covering it up enough. They got hacked. Oh, God, I hope that's not the case. I'll be so disappointed if it's turned out to be a big hack. Let's see here. <laughs> this is, oh, man. I wish I could hook up my computer to what you guys are seeing, but uh, Taylor Harrison at the Tower 51 on Twitter has like, the perfect picture. It's like someone's making Kurt Angle 06. With the shield flag jacket on. <laughs> I love it. Okay, anyone wants to send me any uh, any invitations to matches? I'm cool for that. I'll check that occasionally, but in the meantime, I'll do some quick play. I see, I see your flames, Jose. Uh, yeah. I mean, it does sound like an April Fool's joke, honestly. It just sounds like the most bizarre fever dream fantasy booking you'll see someone on Reddit. What if they did this, guys? Uh, <laughs> Ambrose and Rollins wear angle singlets. That'd be hilarious. Like, for by the ladder finisher, because once you get a link bank, doing a ladder finisher is a mandatory objective, and if you don't do it, you have to just keep doing it over and over. Oh my god, okay, I have to do that. <laughs> Good tip, thank you, Joe Anderson. Smoke Joe! Mm hmm. Got a big old piece of pizza across my mouth now. This is, this is life, you just gotta live it. RVD return. I think it's funny that RVD's return like, came in the form of a, video, of a video game before in ring stuff. Howard Finkel to replace JoJo's ring announcer. I love it. Um, I think it's unfortunate that I mentioned the top of the stream that I think it's unfortunate that, like, you know, Kurt's return should be something special. I mean, it's kind of inevitable, but it should be like something that I have to build to it. it feels organic. This just feels like it's rushed almost. Sometimes. Sometimes there are things that are so cool they can kind of like be forgiven for rushing, but I don't know if this is it. Maybe it, maybe it is. I'm trying to think what oh, I'm trying to think what the equivalent of this is. I'm pretty sure. I want to say it was Great American Bash 07 that um, got totally changed up because there was this elevated liver enzymes. Um, and it, I think it was code for like saying, look, all these people fucked up the wellness. They're all gone for the same amount of time. This mass exodus of people like elevated liver enzymes, like Tori Wilson and like Bobby Lashley and like Super Crazy, I think, was involved in it too. Greg Khali, a bunch of wrestlers all at once. 
You've got like the elevated liver enzymes, and the like, match had to be drastically rebooked. Um, that's the last time I can remember something like this. Kurt might be super limited. You're right. I mean, I can't. It's like he's retired, but he's only retired as of very recently. He was still going pretty hard on in the indies. Come on, let's get the match started. Right, there you go. Or fucking CM Punk. Yeah, someone's like, it could be a CM Punk return. Oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Hey, I not being the BFG. Why does this guy have to be rated 100? It's okay. Uh, last night I played as Michael Hayes against the guy who was like rated 100, and I beat him. He's, Hayes is only like 84, so it is possible. Love that move. Thank you for the dollars to uh, Jeff Davis. Thank you so much. Two dollar donation. Didn't call him. Yes, he has. He that's right. He missed the Punjabi prison match because of his elevated liver enzymes. I like how one of your basic moves, kid, is code red. Tell me your All right, I've seen enough. Of it. Oh, Dick, your Dick Rod. Um, my PS4 ID is Brian Zane, nineteen eighty-five. <laughs> Sorry, no. My PS4, my PSN ID is Brian Zane, nineteen eighty-five. I know the timing was funny. Nineteen eighty-five is the thing. Okay. Yeah, Scott Steiner return, yeah. There you go. Shithead. Oh, of course you counter it, because you've got 18 counters in the meter, you jerk. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. Um, He's going to have to cut off his opponent's offense quickly. Thank you, 06. I thought, I thought it was up my gut said it was 06, but oh, no, I think I'm wrong when I say 06. And he delivers a knee. I hate this, I hate... There needs to be an option for, um, there needs to be an option to not have to play CAWs, because they're always cheap, and they always win the Fuck you. Fuck oh, you. Did not capitalize. Alright, is he his finisher or what? No, not yet. That's pretty nifty. The bell rings and the big man from the South Pacific, Samoa Joe, looking for an in the early going. Man, this Sp oh, SmackDown. Yes, our money so has SmackDown because of Volcanoes. Yeah, I mean, there's been very few times where, like, whole cards, where, like, whole cards might have been changed because of some, like, drastic incident. Every time I'm in this arena, I can't help but think back to December 1998. Why was Kevin Owens pulled from the South American match? Oh, I don't know. Don't, don't, uh, don't tell me. Don't tell me the... The sad news. He may be in the Fuck best off. physical condition I've ever seen him in. Sierra Hotel Intensity, Integrity, Intelligence. The shiny old. <laughs> I love it. Fuck you! God, let me get a move off. Jerk face. Yes, that's right. He he used all his counters. Oh my god, I can actually hit him now. Oh, what a glorious day. Oh, you dickhead. Take some time to think things over. Ah. No, this is some some CAW. So I'm gonna make him look real, but he's gonna have the most generic ass looking thing. Alright, you fuck. Got the stamps. Shit. He saw I had the stamps. He capitalized. Fuck. Dickhead. All right, Sin Carter in the backstage promo Vincent Van. Yeah, what more ridiculous storylines can we come up with in the span of this uh, stream? Um, yeah, so for those of you who are just tuning in, that's the big news. Kurt Angle's replacing Roman Reigns at Tater Tots Love Catsup. And then you've got, um, yeah, Finn Balor is going to be wrestling AJ Styles. Styles is going to be borrowed over from... Um, the land of SmackDown. Uh, it's just madness what's going on. I mean, I was, I was saying in the stream, it's crazy they're going to give away Kurt's unretiring on such short notice. And I feel that it's kind of, there's other things they could have done to make that. Oh, that's Raven Fan 2000. What a jerk. It's just. It, <laughs> I think we all want to see Kurt Angle get back in the ring. But uh, I feel that oh, I did get an invitation. Hold up, from Perfect Natty. Okay. Wait for your partner. Oh, how about you override that?
Shit. No. Well, shoot. We'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's just unfortunate because I mean, there's other people you could build up and have be realistic uh, alternatives for Roman Reigns in this match, and not have to, you know, in case of emergency, break freaking neck. Um, Kurt Angle. If Finn Balor could have been there, you could have found another group of people to uh, have put in a match. You could put Angle, you could put Jordan in there and have it kind of make sense. Um, there's, there's different things you could do. And it's unfortunate that we won't see the... I mean, I was excited for S.H.I.E.L.D. and Team Miz, and I was excited for the Sister Abigail debut. So to have them neither happen is kind of disappointing after all the build they had went into it. Like, the fact that they... like. It seems silly now that Roman is gone and you just spent all these weeks building up this like impossible team for him to go against. The alliance to end Shield Mania. <laughs> you have five fucking people now and you don't even need them anymore because you've got, you could have, you know, just a three on three and it would have been fine. So it's unfortunate that's how the, the, the cooking bookie, <laughs> the booking cookie crumbles. All right, what is happening? Like, I just get started and did that. I don't know what that is. Regret your hype. <laughs> Do I regret my hype a little bit? Yeah. Well, oh, thank you, Jeff Davis. Do you hear King of the Ring might be the UK show now? Hmm. I do not hear that. Rumor. UK show. King of the Ring. Hmm. Send me another invite. Natty, because I botched that. Um, oh, so one thing I am still preparing for, I didn't have time to do today, but I'm also, um, you know, going to hopefully work on making that 30 kernel Royal Rumble like I've been planning. I haven't had time to get a whole lot of people. Some fans have put up funny Colonel Sanderses that, um, where is, no, whatever. Oh, there you go. Not a knockout turning. But thank you, Jeff. Thank you, though, for your, for your contributions. Oh, my, my, my character showed up in your game. That's cool. Yeah, th that, I guess that's kind of a cool feature about, um, you know, my career, my, my player mode. Tina Sabatelli. Yeah, so I've got a few here. Um, some are... Some are only attires and not actual wrestlers, so I need to fix that. But uh, there's Kane FC. Uh, the, I, that, that's my version of Kane FC. But I like the person, the, the fans better. And KF Cinema, Undercooked KFC. This is my work in progress. Woo Crispy Woo Tangy. It's Ric Flair in Colonel Sanders' outfit. So that's kind of what I'm doing, but that'll happen eventually. The union's coming back. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some of people who came back, who, who could come back who are less realistic. <laughs> okay, here we go. I found your invitation. Check piece of, thank you. I saw someone tweet me that too. So, again, it's, um, it's cool that the characters show up there. Okay, now what? No. No. Oh. Well, not by too far. Is 2K18 worth it? I think it is. Um, yeah, I mean, so far I enjoy the game. If you enjoy the style of game and you want like an updated roster with like some slightly better animations, um, then yeah, I don't see it. For, I think this is fine. And do I think the movie is dying? No, I do not. I mean, if everyone gets meningitis all at once, yeah, they're going to be in some trouble. But I don't think there are any. Huge worry now. <laughs> um, then we got Sid, Stir, Abigail, uh, AJ Styles taking on Finn Balor, which is going to be a tremendous match. Um, ooh, the event has started. Okay, does that mean I can actually do stuff now? Because I feel like I've been having the hardest time with Road to Glory. I don't know why I didn't take it. Okay. I've accepted the invitation, so hopefully this match will happen. I need to put my actual face on 
uh, my CAW here, my, my player mode guy. I tried doing it last night, but like, oh, the skin color on my picture is so pasty and like and just drained out. Like, <laughs> it made the guy look like an alien because he had to match the skin color. He's like this pale blue. He's like Michael Jackson on his worst day. <laughs> okay. What the heck? I don't get why that's not happening. That's annoying. Sister Abigail's a soccer mom. Hmm. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be perfect, Natty. Colonel of Beers. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, Frisco. <laughs> yeah. Owen Norman, yeah. Boy, Neville picked the wrong time to walk out. Because, you know, he probably could have found himself a match somehow here. Uh, quality of the matches don't matter if they sell t if they don't sell tickets. Yeah, I agree. I think you can have the best wrestlers in the world, and you know if it's not properly booked, and if the characters and the story aren't there, and you don't know why they're fighting, then yeah, they have the greatest match in the world. But if they're not being promoted right, then fuck it, no one's gonna go see it. Like, I bet you Kurt can still go. It's like, he's still, I'm sure, working out like a freak every day of his life. Um, but it's just, it is a huge shock. Hmm. Colonel LeBeers. Oh, Colonel LeBeers, the Colonel Rumble. Yes, that's even better. Come on. Can I do a room? I don't want to do a room, actually. All right, well, this is bullshit. What a bullshit, man. For some reason, my, uh, my online shiz is not the biz. Let's try Gamer7812. See, that works. Corporal Kirchner. Colonel Kirchner. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
Okay, here we go. Battle of the Ages here. Oh, we're getting the full entrances. Yeah, joke's on you. Music's down on my game, so I can't hear it. Can't hear what you picked. Oh, you gave him a generic entrance, too. Oh, okay, you skipped it. Yeah, the entrance is a work in progress. Bad Street, Atlanta, GA. I love this outfit. Bad Street in the whole USA. Damn. <laughs> such a fucking Muppet there. <laughs> I love how big they made his teeth. Oh my god. He's like... Here he is in all his glory. Michael P.S. Hayes. Yeah, God, I wonder if they've considered bringing Daniel Bryan in. Because, like, he was, I think, in the Shield's first match. That would have been crazy, right? There's no other way to put it. This one-on-one -on -one match is going to be a struggle in every sense of the word. There's no other way to put it. Man looks like they are remotely entertaining. Do, do, do. Backing down. This is going to be good. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a shot. Yeah, Balor and AJ was announced the same, in the same twizzy that, um, no more magical place to be in that the Roman right now, angle one was. For this match. This is so crazy. I mean, like, who would have thought in 2017 this would happen? He lands the strike with great You need to accuracy. learn how to do your running attacks, man. Doop, doop, doop. Bad street. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, start running. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you fell into my trap. Good sell, by the way, asshole. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. What number are we at? Bruh. What are you doing? I'm not going to fall for your trick, man. What happened? Did you count it out? What the fuck just happened? Oh, no. Like, well, his hood went away. Is this like a, is this a false count anywhere? Oh, it is false count anywhere. I'm so confused. Why the fuck's the referee not counting you? Oh, that bullshit! You didn't hit me. That one. Incredible. There was a lot of force behind that one. That's a good question. Why didn't they just replace now Finn with right, Roman? Uh, you know, who knows? I mean, probably that. They, 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 they have plans. And there's Fuck off. a chop. He hits the big knee. Well, shit. Now that I know that weapons are legal, legal beagle. Oh, you frazzle, frazzle. Come back here, you young whippersnapper. Doop, doop, doop. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to set You're not going to win That was simply unadulterated power. <laughs> Shut up, Michael Cole. <laughs> ah, get my heel shit in. So painful. Oh, was that his assignment? Tom Phillips is getting married? What a weird fucking explanation. Just say he's getting married. Don't fuck with this. He's on assignment. What do you think he's doing? He's going to meet fucking Kamala in the jungle and shit? <laughs> like Gene Okro style? I will say the attention to detail of this CM Punk is pretty good. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Good, good, good. Do I watch any other sport? Not really. What else? Yeah, like, weird time right now. It's like, uh, Neville's walked out. Nia's on a leave of absence. People got the meningitis. They got the itis real bad. <laughs> I just, uh, and then you got Kurt Angle coming back and AJ going to SmackDown for one night only. Oh, boy. Cats and dogs he's living together. Him that he's here. What a wild and he's woolly. In big trouble. The red on CM Punk's face in this thing. I don't think he's a burn sure victim. How much more he has to give. Oh man, his chances are dwindling quickly. Boosh. He's taking on so much punishment. But his opponent has to be careful here. <laughs> he doesn't have respect for anybody or anything. And that's exactly what will make him so dangerous down the stretch. Yep. Boom. Hayes. He's really looking to prove a Here we go, dude, 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 motherfucker. 
Can we make a skill with Tom Phillips going into the jungle with Kamala? <laughs> Boosh! Old beats young motherfucker. Motherfucker! Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh! You counter the drag? Can you counter a drag? That's silly. He misses the mark. Yeah, that is close. Cool. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Michael is Kevin Owens serious? I keep seeing people post that shit. Is Kevin Owens taking time off? Don't say it. Please stop doing that. <laughs> stop telling me these evil things. I need more heel Sami Zayn. This should do it right there. One. Two. energy to kick out of that. Just when you thought it was over. Um, I don't have I mean, I don't think Nia's walking out. It sounds like she's taking a leave of absence. And then Alexa Bliss says, it's not a leave of absence. It's when you just take a break for a while from your work. Yeah, it's called leave of absence, Alexa. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what they call it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, you, mother. You have to wonder what's going through these guys. There it is. Boop. Did you boop, boop, boop. Wax it with the kendo stick. I don't think he's done yet, Cole. Trying to lead us up against something? He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. I don't even see that counter down. I know that's TLC. Thank you. <laughs> we are well aware. Yeah, um, again, for those of you just tuning in, the crazy news of TLC is that Kurt Angle is replacing Roman Reigns, and uh, AJ Styles is replacing... Uh, Bray Wyatt slash sister Abigail um, for TLC on Sunday due to uh, meningitis in the, in the locker room. Apparently, it sounds like Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas and JoJo, which that's an interesting trio, they were kind of patient zero, and now it's affecting more of the roster, and that's just terrifying. There we go. One more time. Boosh. Bad Street. Street. This one's I need to get a new call finish. I'm sick of hearing them say that. Will this be it? Um, who do you want to manage if WWE hired you tomorrow? Uh, whoever doesn't have meningitis, no keep me away from that. <laughs> I'll take anyone. Man. Oh! Shit, son. Nope. Sorry, motherfucker. You are out of luck, friendo. I ain't talking about Steven Larson. You should. I heard about TLC. Yeah, probably. Uh, so yeah, TLC. Let's keep talking about that. I mean, those of you who are, I mean, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself a little bit when I say this to people who are here for the length of the stream. Because there's a lot of shit that's worth repeating. Again, just Kurt Angle coming back out of retirement after... You know, uh, last time we saw him in a WWE ring was 06. So for him to come back uh, now, I think the plan was, I think everyone kind of envisioned he would come back for WrestleMania. And now that's, it's obviously, it might still happen, but it's certainly the the um, the attraction of Kurt Angle making his long-awaited comeback has certainly been dampened by what's going to happen on Sunday. And they can't go back on it now. I mean, unless they, like, I think the only way they could possibly back out of it is if Kurt shows up and like, oh, he's attacked backstage or something. And so then it becomes four on two and Dean and Seth still manage to win the fucking thing. <laughs> like, that's the only scenario I could see where they, you know, they don't quite give away Kurt Angle coming back. Hey, Wesley. Little brain buster. Boom. All right, you motherfucker, time to go down. Douche. All right. That's got to be the end of you. That's three damn DDTs. Guys, when you have and I also just did like a brain buster and a diving elbow drop on you. One, two. There it is. Freebirds rule. Um, here. You see, while I'm doing this, I'm going to really quickly retype the, the stream thread. TLC. Clickbaity. Huge TLC news. WWE 2K18 stream. All caps, because that's how you grab their attention. Um, here we go. 
Thank you for all of you who are watching this right now, and those of you who are all coming to vent and 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 praise and laud and bitch and do every other kind of possible reaction you can have for this news. Um, oh, that's harsh, Chris. Too soon. Huge TLC news. Left eye is alive. Too soon. I don't I don't miss the two reversal button thing. <laughs> I don't miss it at all. Okay, we're going in order here, people. Uh Perfect Natty uh, Okay, well Perfect Natty is the first one who tried originally and the session kept expiring. So we are going to um wait on that. Uh huh. Oh, and please, okay, I haven't seen the one sweep yet. I keep hearing about the one sweep, but I don't know what it actually is. If anyone could clarify that, that would be nice. Like, someone just write it out. The difference between the fighting styles. Uh, I can, Dylan. Fighting styles, well, I guess there is there is kind of that element in this. Um, because you can play, like, Showboat and Powerhouse and stuff. I could try. I honestly don't know uh, how to do that. I guess short of... <clears throat> um, just trying to look up what category one person uh, falls into. Uh, do I have Facebook or Snapchat we can interact with you on? Yeah, facebook.com slash wrestlingwithregret is uh, the Facebook page. Uh, if you find my private personal account, don't send an invite because I don't know you and I'm not, I'm, I appreciate you being a fan. I want to be my friend, but I don't accept friend invites from people I have never met. That's my rule. That's on my personal one at least. You can join the Wrestling With Regret Facebook page all you want. And you can chat with me there. That's fine. This is just a finger thing too. So it's this or this then. I don't know. All right. I, 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 I responded to your game request, Sue Studio. Susan Sarandon. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Rocky Mountain Way. Here's a more recent one, I guess. Ah. Bull honky. Uh, game seventy eight twelve. If you can get back on the wait list, yeah, we can. We can try it again. Stranger danger, exactly. Stranger danger, man. Yeah, it's like I, I, it's funny. I just posted my TLC predictions for Patreon. And it, <laughs> I just posted today, this morning, and then this shit happens. Um, really unbelievable timing. It's like, yeah, it's just one of those things that really dominates the news cycle. It's crazy. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try Undertaker. You know, I don't think he gets enough credit. So I'm gonna be the Undertaker. Soy Olympian, eighty-six. Thank you, Susu Beardheart. Yeah, prediction predictions video got irrelevant mighty quick. Yeah, hit start, man. Hit start, Soy Olympian. What is this? What is this spam shit? Get out of here with this. Uh, leave the group. Come on, man. You gotta hit start to go advance this thing. Did Nia Jax pull a Neville? I don't think so. I don't. I, it doesn't sound like she's like walking out for frustration or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Um, I guess we'll hear about it soon enough. I am curious though to see uh, how this plays out. Like I said, Kurt. I think I'm suddenly now open to the idea that it's a bait and switch with Kurt, which will suck still. Like, on the one hand, like. You don't you you don't spoil the return, but then like at the other hand you bait and switch your audience. So, but that's the only way I can see that I can see this was getting out of it is um, is having Angle get jumped from behind backstage or something. So he's incapacitated. Maybe he runs it at the very end to like do a move or something. I don't know. Uh huh. Come on, man. All right. I'm giving you ten seconds, man. Which Undertaker has? Uh, yeah, between the ropes, I do have a Wrestling with Regret Facebook page. 
um, you know, wrestling is regret, find it on Facebook. I mean, if a group's different than a page, then um, I, I guess um, I don't know if I want to do that yet. <laughs> okay, well, I'm getting sick of this shit, so I'm going to back out now. Bye. A lot, a lot of hitting the circle button. Okay. Yeah, last, last man standing's fine. Boo, boo. Okay, we'll try this the Susu beard uh, again. It can no longer be used. Uh huh. Okay, let's try Perfect Natty again. This uh, Perfect Natty's been trying forever to get this thing to work. Uh, I'll do some career in a little bit. I just want to start out with doing some online shit. Ah, you see, this is what I'm talking about. A nice, humble selection of No Way Jose. That's fine. I'm see, now, now, now you've made it too much for me because I don't want to be some other jokes. It's very overpowering. I feel guilty. Um, don't want to be Bobby Roo. Bob, what the fuck is the difference? Just give him two different outfits. I can't imagine how different it's going to be. I guess, like, he's more heelish than the other one. <laughs> okay, I'll be uh, Michael Hayes again. Hey, Tyrell. TLC will be selling Pepsi products. CM Punk is the fourth member. Um, yeah, as far as we were talking, we've been talking so far in the stream about, um, you know, different ways to try and change the, you know, obviously you have to replace Bray and Roman, but how can you do it without totally like, you know, jumping the go with angles return? And how do you do it without giving away a match that will be good, but has no build to really justify it? Um, you probably would have to move Finn to the Shield team, and that would have worked. Then you'd be short a match, but then you could easily fill in the void and put one more match in from Raw. I don't know. If you want to bring a SmackDown guy in, have like a SmackDown exhibition thing. Have the idea being like, you know, we are in competition, but we do have the understanding that, you know, we are under the same company, and if worse comes to worse, we there's some fail-safes fail -safe to bail us out. So that's like... I mean, that's that's obviously something they probably didn't have the foresight or they probably didn't think, they probably didn't give that idea enough credence to even go there and pull on SmackDown on SmackDown match. But I mean, that's just a thought. This is an alternate way to try and book around this this problem. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. Would you have rather seen this a full on like, SmackDown exhibition match in the middle of the show, or NXT, like bring an NXT matchup up, uh, or something of that nature. <clears throat> what a weird timeline we are living in. We've got <laughs> Michael P.S. Hayes and No Way Jose wrestling at the Hammerstein Ballroom for one night stay. Folks, they broke the mold when they made this man. Agreed, Michael. There's only one Michael. Grand Street, Atlanta, GA. Oh, I think I see JBL drinking some beer up there in the uh, balcony. Freaked out for a second as the screen went black. I'm like, the fuck? Whoop. And we're ready to go. Dude, dude, dude. If you haven't hit we can defy grabbing a kid. Might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and Boom. over again. And by the sound of things, this crowd is just as I'm surprised they didn't have a Dodge Hendricks option available. <laughs> Three birds will wild and free. You're never gonna put a set of chains on me. <laughs> Stupidest song ever. <laughs> oh yeah, here's no way Jose. Three birds will wild and free. You're never gonna put a set of chains on me. Look, this is someone who is no stranger to the WWE line. Boom! And this is going to be Tequila. a great Dick, son. Uh. My heat back on this. Throwing around the ring with the Irish whip. So I guess it's hardcore match or something, or is it last man standing? I forget. <laughs> he looks a bit off his game here. 
We all know, though, this guy is playing last last game. Game. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the Sounds unpredictable good. nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a oh, point in this match, guys. Can he end it? Oh, so false count anywhere. All right. Referee barely had time to begin a count there. He just powered out there, Cole. Ah, man, okay. How is Michael Hayes as a wrestler? Well, I mean, he is was very charismatic. Uh, you know, probably wasn't the greatest, like, technical. He obviously wasn't the best technical wrestler in the world, but he was a hell of a worker. And he had a gimmick that people really, like, either loved or hated. And they were either the most, the free were either the most beloved people in the world or the most hated, depending on, like, what you felt about them. Uh, but what side of the fence you were on, like, as a wrestling fan. <laughs> he hits the gut buster. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised they didn't like. I don't know. They the op open the open the uh, the bank vault, back up the truck, and try and bring Brock Lesnar in some kind of emergency capacity. Boom. Michael Hayes is not someone to sleep on. Date, 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 my friend. DLC is wonder all. Yeah, I need to finish making my own version. Uh. <clears throat> That's a my own version of myself. Of highly efficient and highly effective strike. There we go. What placement when Hayes gets up. rolling like this. Look out. Michael Hayes running Boom. Bulldog. He might have just ended this. Boogeyman. My return TLC. God, I, hope, I hope the Boogeyman returns. And my Adam Pacitti, uh only on weekends. <clears throat> He's back in control here. All right, here we go. That's got to be the finish. That's the finish, kid. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing. Let's see here. Okay. TLC became, TLC became a house show card real quick. Yeah, like a dream house show. Baron Blazer Hall of Fame. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, for those of you, <laughs> I'm Simon on weekdays, I'm Jack the Jobber on Wednesdays. Um, I'll do one more online match and then we'll do, um, what do you call it? My player. <clears throat> Should you get TLC tickets or buy this game? Uh, you're going to have a lot more fun doing fantasy booking with this game, Dylan, than you can with watching this, how, this show, but <laughs> it's up to you. You can always just buy the network for $9.99 a month. That shit's cheap that way. You get it for free. What is this? <laughs> what <laughs> what arena have you selected? Oh my god. I can't wait for the, whatever the hell I'm gonna see here. Oh man. Okay. Um <laughs> There's zombie action figure line. <laughs> uh, yeah, people are still shocked. Still, oh my God, it's Donald Trump <laughs> in the last man standing match against Samoa. At least you had a, at least you have a modest rating. <laughs> see, I see people mention that oh, this game is so shit. It's the worst. Well, how? Why is it a bad game? Like, I don't understand the hate people have for the game. I mean. Um, I understand if people aren't getting a game they expected, but then they shouldn't get the game in the first place because I feel they should know what they're getting into. They know what they're signing up for, to quote somebody who has seen this game. <laughs> Makes Samoa great again. That is, is a really good Donald Trump. It's like very accurate. With the hair, how do you even get the hair to look like that? <laughs> Uh, will I do a video with Grim on this game? I, I have no plans to. Uh, it would be cool, but I have nothing nothing lined up like that right now. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, for those of you, by the way, uh, need to um, who have not seen this Thursday's video, my uh, Rise and Fall of Zack Ryder episode featuring Dave Knows Wrestling. I recommend you check that one out. I think it's uh, a pretty good one, and it was great working with Dave, who's a very much an up-and-coming YouTube channel. So I thought I'd give him the rub here uh, for the video. I think it was uh, a good fit. Um, graphics looks weaker than 2K17. I don't know about that. I mean, I like the graphics. 
it looks fine to me. It, it, it's if it's not better, I don't think it's worse. I think it's like it, at minimum the same. <sighs> oh Jesus! Make America great again. Trump, Pence. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> money, 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 money. See, he looks too shiny here. I feel like the, the face ring. capture From didn't look so good. He's too oily. In at but you get the face down, though, the, the expression. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint. <laughs> that this hair is amazingly accurate. It's right, really Michael. close. What does it say in the corner? La Murica? <laughs> I can't tell what it says. He appears to be at the top of his game right now. Well, he's going to need to be if he wants to survive this match. American sure. flag, turnbuckles, red, white, and blue ropes. Oh, can you do individually colored ropes now? I feel like that was something that was missing from Creator Arena is that you, you know, they had, I think they had a red, white, and blue pattern, but I think I wanted to like make, you know, different color patterns. I couldn't do it with like, I couldn't uh, stagger them. Okay. <laughs> There's the wall. Ah, I got the singlet. I love it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Huge, huge, you know, you missed the opportunity, though, when you made the arena to call it a huge wall. I'm going to have a hard time paying attention to what's going on in this match. And we're ready to go, folks. The only thing that would make this match more enjoyable to watch would be if I was <laughs> What would make this match more enjoyable to watch, Corey Graves? I was hoping to take a stunner better. They should they should have programmed in like the Donald Trump stunner cell. <laughs> that'll, that'll be one of the finisher options in like 2K20. Donald Trump take the way he took the stunner. As the action continues, let's do, 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 do. This is actually kind of cathartic in a way. It's, it's, it's very much wish fulfillment. <laughs> oh, there's last man standing too. So gotta pace myself. Last man standing. We're gonna build a wall. I can't do a Trump impression. That's why one of the main reasons I've never tried doing very many Trump jokes in my show is because I can't do a very good Trump voice. <laughs> I feel if you're gonna do a joke, you gotta have to uh, be uh, knowledgeable with the voice. I do. A, that's, it's very. It's like my Donald Trump is an impression of someone else doing a Donald Trump impression. Nice move. Ah, so he's cut off. I gotta get my cut off. Ah, boom! There's cough right there. Ah, you joke! Yeah, you make a video on Donald Trump and WWE. I did. <laughs> Check it out. It's from uh, last year, before we all knew what was going to happen. See if he takes the bait. And even then, we don't know. What happened to Puppet? Uh, I believe he's still doing stuff on Facebook. His YouTube channel, the Rope Break channel, got shut down for some reason. I, I don't uh, know why. It was like it was like the most PG wrestling channel in all of YouTube, and like it still got taken down for reasons like we'll never know. There we go. Boom! Do 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 do. Do do. Oh shit! You no sell bastard, Donald. How we doing the P90X? Oh shit! Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's last man standing. I forgot. <laughs> okay, it should be interesting. You buried Zane. I buried Dave. I know I'm such a heel. Boom! They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Oh shit! Samoa Joe's the sledgy. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, oh shit! Nick Brick on the sledgy. Oh, the show with Road Dog, Josh Matthews, and Puppet. It. That was uh, it was Are You Serious? And it had uh, Puppet this H. That's what it was. Let me tell you, the human body was not meant to be slammed oh, like shit. that. Come on, gotta recover from this. Escapes in a nick of time. There he goes to the a outside. A nick of time? 
Remember, though, there are no timeouts in WWE. Like the uh, American like the red, white, and blue uh, stairs. Very nice touch. The flying forearm it. finds his target. Are you serious? Was kind of like WWE's attempt at like doing wrestle crap. <laughs> oh shit! And you rotated in mid crouch. What? Stay down, man. When this guy's on, look out. Samoa Joe Fuck. is gonna end this thing. God damn it. We're good at this game. <laughs> this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh man, the reaction time. Are you kidding me? Hang on. Superstar's last match was great. Okay, moment. I'm hitting X. In the past. There's really no reason to keep harping on it as much as people have been. Okay, there you go. That's super annoying. He's looking at it. Jesus. Get my shit wrecked here by Donald Trump. How embarrassing. getting overwhelmed. Okay, I know I'm hitting it on time. I know I am. Yet it doesn't register. Looking for the finish. Oh fuck. He's gonna hit me with a the exclamation point. We know what's coming here. Shit! No! Yeah, um, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. It's been a minute. Let's talk more about this breaking news that came down the pike uh, earlier today, just moments before, about an hour, an hour five ago. It was literally or hour ten. Is that uh, Roman Reigns is out um, of TLC with meningitis? And is going to be replaced by Kurt Angle, who is coming back for the first time in a WWE ring in uh, a long time, in 12 years. 2006 was his last uh, his last WWE match. Um, oh, now he looks kind of like an old lady in that shot. That's weird. All right, well, that match was something. <laughs> Thank you. It was a fun experience. Um... Yeah, so Kurt Angle's coming back, although I still think there's a possibility to do a bait and switch. Who really knows for sure? Like, they could maybe find a way to keep Angle out of it. But is, if, if it happens, though, how exciting is that? That you've got. Okay, I'm going to do. Um, yeah, no more online stuff. No more matches. No more. We don't need this thing in matches. I'm going to go back to do my player and try and uh, see what happens now that I'm the NXT champion. Hang on. I'll be right back. Dave, Dave, Dave. All right. My lunch wasn't big enough. So, brought some reinforcements. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to do NXT. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for Kurt Angle coming back. I've always liked Kurt Angle's work. I was excited for the possibility of him coming back at WrestleMania. Now I get to have it a little early. But yeah, I mean, the fact that Angle, the fact that Roman is gone, the fact that the Shield is not a unit this Sunday really negates and throws away the entire need for a five-on-three advantage for the heels. Because the whole point was just to, to stack the odds against the faces and how are they going to overcome five people. And now it's like, well, now there is no chemistry there because Roman Reigns is gone. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that meningitis is no joke, man. The side, the side goals, yes. Looking forward to the side goals. Maybe this guy operating the forklift can tell me what to do now. Oh, come on, man. Look at your bros. Ah, oh, you suck. I might do more online at the end. We'll see. Yeah, they probably could have saved the match with the Survivor Series and it would have, you know, blown over. Um, but yeah, Finn versus AJ. Wow. Cannot believe that match is happening. Um, you didn't have to let me win. <laughs> no one's asking that of you. A talk prompt, yeah? Company man. 
Okay. Wow, Eric Young. Didn't see you there. Where did you the new hot shot here? I don't like that. Uh huh. Think you should be a bet match better than most. This is my yard now. Good match here. Three stars. Okay. Uh, if you're unsure, you can rest. Okay. So you can only really do like one quest at a time then? Where are you going? Where'd that dude go? I want to follow him. Um, yeah, and I thought about the whole thing with um, Jason Jordan. I'm surprised like that never, um, but that didn't come to fruition. Like I, I, think they, I think with more build, Jordan could have been a very conceivable replacement for Roman Reigns. It's weird that that was not the case here. Oh, what's this asshole gonna say? You know, like shitting grin of his. You can look out there tonight. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad I went to him. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy kept asking me about my favorite Bobby Heenan memory. I don't really have a ton of them because he was kind of before my time as a fan. But watching the ones back, I mean, I think a lot of it is just the zingers against Monsoon and like, uh, oh, Mike McGurk. Uh, his his rounds in on her was pretty hilarious, too. Hmm. Looks like our accomplishments before moving forward. Yeah, so, just, I mean, it's. This is like the craziest news of the year, I think, in terms of WWE, in terms of like last minute booking or surprises We're happening. One -on -one action this your way next. is a real yeah, fan easily against an the story adversary. of the year right now. Will you be serious? Oh, yeah. Um, my favorite Heenan call probably has to be Survivor Series 93 when it's the Hearts uh, versus the Knights, I think, or whoever it was. Yeah, and just his complete roasting of uh, the Hart family was the most spectacular thing ever. Okay, I mean a three-star match or above for EY, Super Eric. So I've, upped, I've changed my uh, my finisher, my finishers, and I've also changed my tights, as you can see. I changed them just before the uh, TakeOver pay-per-view, TakeOver show, I won the title. I love how it's like, oh, here you go, here you good, man. I'm the champion. Like, yeah, you better believe I'm good. <laughs> you haven't noticed? I could never do a leapfrog. That is very Cassius Ono going to be on SmackDown? Maybe one day, I don't know where's. I, I'm trying to think where would be a better fit. I think he'd probably, he'd probably be fine. He'd probably go on SmackDown. That's probably he would fit better there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah! Oh, that was a good little comeback there. Now, the Kurt Angle a rumor. Appears to be true. Yep, Kurt Angle's coming back. So and it's just uh, absolute madness that he is, this is happening the way it is. Um, there's other ways you could have built around this. There's other contingency plans you could have done. But um, I guess they didn't really want to totally lose Finn Balor in singles action. I mean, he got that whole new makeup design. He has to use it. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> That's great. Real smart, smart thing in there. Ah, Eric Gill with a sick right hand. Oh, I hope your range is better than mine, man. That ah! Fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully extra. Should come down and shield gear? He should be hilarious. And a kick out of oh, I did not notice that was a pinball. <laughs> I almost boffed it big time. Did the Adams tell you why they left? 
I don't get it. That wasn't in-game botchamania. He punch. He is a one-man gang in there. Shit. It's like he's starting to tire. He has hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. That confidence got away. his face at the start of this match Shit. sure has so disappeared. And for good reason. He's taken nope. quite a beating. He's incredibly Shit. proud of what he's been able to accomplish in his career. What's the big TLC news? Wentz is, I'll tell you what the big TLC news is. Yeah, Roman Reigns out of action in the main event because he's got the meningitis. And Kurt Angle, yes, that Kurt Angle is taking his place. Uh, so it'll be the sh it'll be Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Kurt Angle uh, taking on the Miz team, as is apparently. So it's madness. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. Oh shit! Uh, and then. Uh, what else do you got? Yeah, the other big story besides that is that Bray Wyatt is officially uh, out of action for TLC with the same itis. And uh, now AJ Styles is being brought over from SmackDown to um, to replace it. So there you go. I guarantee you, I, I'm actually curious. I wonder if Jinder's going to have a role in that result. Um It'd be interesting to see like gender like uh, gets involved in the finish somehow. He's flipped the script here. Okay. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, finally pulled off a comeback that works. I always fail at those. I always fail to like figure out how the hell you're supposed to like, block the other ones. Spinebuster. Can't waste any time here. Things do not. Boom. TDT. Drop them. Uh, I have not ever done a video specifically about the hi higher power, but I have made fun of the Howard power. Oh, sh shut up, Eric. Man. Come on, Come on buddy. Could be used at any moment here. Oh! Here he goes for the win! Uh, I do remember you epic keeping, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. The, uh, uh, the, the thing about the meningitis is it's, it's a very scary, uh, meningitis very scary uh, condition. It requires, to, to properly diagnose it, you need to, you know, stick a needle in somebody's spine and get the spinal fluid out. So it's not just a something where you can kind of like do a self-diagnosis and take some ibuprofen and feel better. Um, it's one of those few like you know, it requires it basically requires you to the emergency room to get the uh, get the uh, spinal tap basically or whatever you call it. Um, so now you've got Bray with it, and there's the rumors of JoJo and both Dallas also having it, and now Roman. Um, you know, it's got to be scary if you're a wrestler there if you're on the road. And you try to like interact with all these different people, like you're rolling around in a fucking oh, man, ring together. And right you know, you're sweating and spitting all over the place. You're going. rolling that shit. That and, like they do their best. They do try to like keep things sanitary because I know they've got like five canvases on the ring at one time during the show. Um, and every couple of matches they will take off the canvas and, and replace it or you know, keep the put the fresh one underneath, have it ready to go. So that's like how they try to keep things sanitary. But obviously, yeah, it's going to take more work than that to like find, you know, fight that that I'll level you, of thing. He can't afford to be horizontal that at this point in the match, Cole. Uh, illness. Oh man, Eric Young is really feeling the pressure. Ooh, sexy. When this guy's on. Look out. <laughs> he dabs too. Oh, that's TJ Perkins thing. Still trying to get back Mumps. to his feet here. He's They're all right on the edge of the wooden mist bounce back since this kid's true. Come on. Yeah, Oscar's debut is suddenly going to be pretty. Actually, got like between Curry out coming back, AJ Styles and Finn, and Oscar's debut. This could be a really awesome pay per view. <laughs> it's like one of the best of the year. One, two, suck it, Eric Young.
I mean this storyline that Kevin Owens or Roman Reigns can do this. Since they're both out with this disease, one could pull off Randy Orton in a cast to put on. You mean like they could wrestle with meningitis? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> Oh man. What's going on here? I don't think oh god damn it, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, I guess I better beat him up some more. Want one, alright. Oh shit. Don't do it! Oh my god. He might have it. It's a academic from here. That's how you put an He's done it. Point on the end of a match, He's gone too far. He's gone too far. Ah, oh, no. On the floor. The ZDT on the floor. The BZT on the floor. He must have a telly shirt face from Reigns. That'd be the biggest rib ever. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. Yeah, man. I'm still getting over it. Kurt Angle is going to be coming back. What a time to be alive. Kurt Angle. Finn Balor, AJ Styles. That's like a WrestleMania-worthy matchup. Um, oh, the sympathy angle. Oh, you mean RN? That was not a sympathy angle. It was like, yeah, it was, he was trolling people. <laughs> Why was 90 Ellison? I don't know the question. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Angle can go. I'm sure like he can wrestle. And he's in good shape. It's just weird timing to see it rushed out like that. Get the momentum going. Yeah. Um. He's a like Kurt Angle versus Daniel Bryan versus for WrestleMania. Oh God, Kurt and Daniel Bryan would just be like EMTs are just like ready to go. They're bracing. <laughs> Whoa. I'll walk away now. Doopy doopy doop. Thanks for watching, Jeff Davis. Ah. I'll turn around, see you. Need some time to hang out with the guys. Just us guys doing guy things. Guy. Yeah, I'd love to see Angle and AJ in WWE, or you know, uh, AJ and Shinsuke. That'd be cool. They teased it a little bit money in the bank. Oh my God, guys, it's Johnny Wrestling! Oh my God, it's Johnny Wrestling! I expect it working, I think. Now let me get back to my phone. I wonder if that lady's still looking for Vince in his office. Weird ass looking lady. Look at her tonight. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. I do remember that song. Oh, thank you, Gary. Appreciate it. When I first heard about this news, I thought it was a rib. I thought Felix, I thought Felix was, <clears throat> was ribbing me. I said, well, he says, you heard about this DLC, right? I'm like, uh, is Bray sick? It's like, Kurt Angle's coming back. Like, shut the fuck up! You lie! Um, I was so, like, I was outraged and, like, uh, euphoric. <laughs> I was happy, sad, good and bad. Ebony and ivory, dust in the wind. That sort of thing. Um, and if they change the UK show to King of the Ring, I think it's interesting. It's like they're taking some they're taking an established brand essentially and they are uh, turning it to something more weekly. I mean, it'll be you know, two different two different Heritages, basically. We'll chat again soon. What? <laughs> Why are you here if you want to talk to you? Why are you trying to shut me out? Am 
What's he using? Catering. What's Bobby Roo? His posture looks terrible. To this. I want to talk. What do we got over here? No one in catering? Bullshit. Oh my god, that outfit is the wrong outfit for that background. You're totally gonna key out. I don't know what I'm talking to. No. Hmm. Sister Abby's gone. I, I'm, I'm, I'm upset that we don't get to see the payoff. Sister Abigail just, yeah, that's uh, disappointing. Um, which one are you going to be? There's good and there's bad. Um, Winston says, you know what would suck if they didn't give Styles and Balor control of their match? Oh, they control their matches. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't have control of their match. They don't do that shit unattended. Oh, so yeah, what's he got to say now? There's someone who's been getting on my nerves. I want you to run in on him. Say no more. Thanks, I owe you one. It's yourself. Um, do I, do I, do I, will there ever be an Undertaker Jr.? Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, that's probably the only problem with this is like the loading time um, in the game. It's like it's like there's so much stuff in there though. You can't really do much about it. I feel. Um, I have seen the Angry Video Game Nerds Wrestling Games episode. It's pretty funny, and like he said a lot, or he had a lot of the same kind of like. Uh, opinions on certain games that I had, especially as to what good, what games he considered good or bad. Yeah, so this is like the Hold scariest thing seats. I think we've had in a while. Oh, I'm gonna break up the uh, the return the match. I'm gonna break up like the first time these two have wrestled since the breakup. Opponent. That doesn't oh, sound nice. Sounds like I'm ruining it. Thank you, Lakeisha. Um, what else? I mean, it's a scary medical condition. And like I said, it, it has to be easy to spread in that kind of environment where it's like everyone's sharing a ring, everyone's, you know, in close contact with each other, in close quarters. Um, I can't imagine what they are doing to try and prevent, like, future spreading. Like, obviously, they've got the people who have it out of the environment. But I'm, I'm just curious to, you know, what where it's going to go from here. Like, what's the next step? And how long do we go uh, before, um, before it's clear? You know? his way to the ring from Cleveland. Am I bringing back the regret zone? Um, nope. <laughs> I mean, there, I might do universe mode in a little while, but I'm not really thinking about it now. Oh, ah! <laughs> Smooth! I still haven't got rid of all of my like prancing He's moves. For it. Oh shit! He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. <sighs> now he's just sitting there, making me feel foolish. Right to the back Fuck. of the neck with the Inziguri. I didn't think it was possible to lose a fucking run in. Shit. Nah. There you go. Fuck off. Fuck off. So what does this mean with the shield? Have they done already? Well, they're certainly hampered. Again, I don't know how long it takes to recover from meningitis when you're no longer... That's <laughs> so stupid. I totally botched that. From like the very beginning. Um... Okada and Naito as Wrestle Kingdom 12 main event? Sure. I'm sure it'll be a great match. Well, guy, Optimus. That was pathetic. Uh, 
Um, oh, when's the next cave kitchen? I don't know when the next cave kitchen is. That's not in my foresight right now. I'll probably have to do one in a couple of weeks because um, Thanksgiving is coming up and people got to know what kind of sides they be needing for their Thanksgiving dinner. Um, yeah. I'm seeing what people uh, are tweeting about the news. Oh, he's happy. Not the best performance. Not your worst either. <laughs> well, you only failed the one thing you're supposed to fucking do. <laughs> That's great. So now what? <laughs> Oh no, hell no, they do not they do not offer insurance coverage. No, they don't insure their people. You mad? That would require them to be actual employees and not independent contractors. Oh wow, he's really nice. Take my, get my car, Jeeves. Look at my my chest hair. Yeah, it's it's so weird. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good match, I would think. But boy, it's gonna feel silly going five on three now. Um, what else to talk about? I mean, I, I I've run by the same like four or five talking points since I started up about uh, almost ninety minutes ago. <sighs> So like what else? What, what, what other scenarios could we have? You know, like, yeah, we were talking about like some of the more recent examples of like mass exoduses or just crazy, you know, crazy uh, combination of events happening. Um, like yeah, the SmackDown, the, the time when there's a big volcano and Raw team couldn't get to Raw, so SmackDown pretty much took over. That was a crazy night. The elevated liver enzymes fiasco of Great American Bash 2006, and this is probably going to be the one that you know most uh, uh, most impacts a pay per view seen since Great American Bash. Not shot here, not great guys. Oh, pff. can I just do this one? Yeah, that's just in your head. Because I already did that freaking objective, man. Maybe a new one. Um. So, yeah, Angle as the, sh the final piece of the shield. Now that should be interesting. Make them feel something. Oh, okay, you're just telling me something. So is that the only objective I have is just to wrestle a three-star match? That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, Angle's return came back way sooner than I thought it'd be. What's Roderick Strong got to say? He got a big old smile on his face. What do you say we team up tonight? Oh, tag? Okay. We'll try. I'll try my best to have the patience deal that bullshit. They, no, Raymond, no. Yeah, should, it, should they introduce a modern attitude era to boost ratings? No, this has been discussed a lot of times by a lot of different people. Just saying, hey, we're bringing back cursing. That's not going to, we're bringing back blood. That's not going to bring people back because what you need is you need writing. You need characters. It's not just what you say. It's how you say it and why you're saying it. You can't just say, hey, we're going to, you know, show titties again and you know, then the ratings will go up. It doesn't work that way. It's You've got to have compelling characters to keep people coming back. Right now, we have some of the most boring characters, the most boring storylines in the history of the company. Um, and it just it can't compare. So it's not going to be. The participants will need oh, to know where they are match. at all times. We have a team led by a real fan favorite against the authors of pain. Big time matchup. Exactly, Kieran. Um, yeah, eleven years since Kurt Angle's last WWE match. And I think he retired from TNA. What's like two years ago? And he's done some indie dates since then, like WCPW. So, I don't know, man. It's absolutely crazy time. Crazy times are living in. Damn you, 2017. 
These superstars are about to oh, put shit. a clinic in tag team competition. Why are we up against two fucking heavyweights like this? Oh. Oh. There we go. Man, that got it. Ooh, a reverse a European player strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. I'm not saying it's the worst time to be a fan, but it's definitely not a great time to be a fan right now. Here we go. That's a Boom! Teamwork right there. Now we'll go back to my corner. No, it's all I have to do. Quit trying to admonish me, referee. Um. Oh my, what a slam. Yeah, I definitely think the TLC will be a very much anticipated pay-per-view now. It was mildly anticipated before. I think the Shield Union alone was going to sell tickets, but now this one's going to be even crazier. Here we go. More double teams. Team uh. at its best. Just making his presence. Bring it down. There. It was the Miz who poisoned Roman. Well, we'll see. Uh, we might do some more online before the stream is done, but I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure yet. Okay. Come on. Uh. He's focusing on the face now. Oh my God! Pick the big man up. Long-term injuries for sure. The indie scene is looking healthier than WWE. Well, depends on what you mean by healthy. I mean, people are making money in indie wrestling, but it's still like a very, you know, a lot of people still aren't making money. You know, there's a lot of guys making their names out in the indies now, but there's still a lot of people suffering and. The people who haven't reached that point yet, you know, uh, are still being shut out. Oh, shit. Razor tagged in. Razor Ramon. <laughs> they can't have pyro for anybody. It's not on the budget. Uh, move towards your... Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, we temporarily incapacitated. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The hot tag mechanic. Oh, I can't do it though. Not here yet. Yeah. Thank God for that graphic. Waboosh. Waboosh. Oh shit. Well, I wouldn't say World Culture is looking great. I mean, we'll see what happens with Defiant Wrestling, but... Boom! Oh, yeah, I really just did it. I really gotta do a hot tag now. I'm really suffering. Oh! Yeah, The Miz has been kind of using a good job with the top guys. It's like, it's, it was kind of preordained or it's a foregone conclusion from like the very beginning who was going to come out winning on this uh, this feud. But it was something like The Miz looked good. I think what sucks is now you've got this match that now isn't even what we had advertised. And it's, oh, sweet. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Occam was doing. That's funny. <laughs> well, hey, I got I got my money. I won. Here are your winners. Uh, was I in contact with what culture as a channel or Adam Blompier personally? I spoke with no Blompier pretty much. That's like when we did stuff right together on my channel, it was you know together, you got the approval from his editors of being one of the best be involved. WWE that was the extent of it. He was you know we he and I spoke with each other and worked like things out that way. All right. My friends and I have this, well, my friends, I had this, had this really interesting theory about Kane. Back in the day, you could always tell when Kane was going to win or lose by how he did his entrance. If he did the turnbuckle pyro 
uh, in the entrance, then um, then he would lose. But if he made, but if he did at the end, he is because he won. He does, he does the he does the pyro after winning. So um, that's how you can always tell. Hey, okay, babe. Connor from okay, babe, everybody. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's meningitis or the mumps or whatever the hell, but it's definitely screwing up the planning of this pay per view. And you know, I don't think it, okay, really, we won. Nice. I don't think it was going to set the world on fire, and now that this is like happening the way it is, it's like still not what they had intended. Um, and it's, I keep repeating myself, but it is truly crazy times. This news to have two huge matches affected so drastically. Oh, I want to hear what Paul Elliott has to say. You need to calm down, bro. Yeah, you're looking mad tired, bro. <laughs> Who was supposed to be in this spot instead of him? <laughs> you're mad tired, bro. Uh, people are speculating that Undertaker could return and possibly fight John Cena at Survivor Series. Um, maybe. I kind of wish they just like let Undertaker retire and just call it a day. Thank you, Michael Carlson. This is the. Swift Cyborg shirt that came out when Cesaro jacked his teeth up. I can't wear it around my wife because she hates tooth trauma, so she can't see like people like getting their teeth broken or whatever pulled out on TV. So freaks her out. So she can't. I can't wear this shirt around her presence. <laughs> Josh Zimmer. Oh my goodness. I was just thinking about the grappler wrestler. <laughs> Oh man, good to see you. Good to see you, Josh. That's crazy news, Josh. Kurt Angle's coming back after being gone for eleven years in WWE. I mean, he wrestled in TNA, but that doesn't count. He's coming back this Sunday. <laughs> the grappler wrestler. I wish I could remember other names from that that we did. Oh, uh, Josh McCool and uh, things like that. Yeah, I, I have an old E-Fed buddy in the chat here right now. Namely me. I'm honored. Oh, we have the main roster. There's a shortage of guys up there due to the fucking mumps. <laughs> we don't have anyone else. Everyone is sick with meningitis. What can I do to help? We need you to step and be a bigger role, either Raw or Smack. Okay, guys, you need to vote for me. Which show do you think is better for my, my, my talents. Raw or SmackDown? Tell me which one to go for. We don't know which show you're going to be on yet. Is that a problem? It's logistics matter. Ugh. Everything getting set in motion in order to bring you in. Basically, your last match in NXT. We'll let's do a promo to say goodbye. This really is the end of my time here. Hmm. Interesting. Speak with Baron Blade in production. Do you have any tips on how to grow your channel? Yes. People ask me that all the time. Uh, to grow your channel, you got to be consistent. You have to be put out a lot of content. You have to interact with your uh, viewing audience in the comments section and on social media. And you also have to invest in yourself. That's probably the best advice I could give, you know, Work with what you can to begin with, but if you want to, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, if you want your channel to grow and you want to have that look where people want to invest in you, you have to invest in yourself and really show that you're putting effort into the thing. That's that's a good sign that you know it's a channel that's for real. You know, super crazy. Go promo it up. So I'm doing a promo now and then next week. That's funny. Yeah, I saw that one, the Radar Gamer. Yeah, it was fun. It was funny. Um, mentagitis. Close! <laughs> Not quite mentagitis. Um, Jarpa, Kappa asks, uh, or Jarpa Karpa asks a good question. Some kind of mass exit, start building new guys up, or more like in-between Attitude Era versus Aggression Era? Well, I think what's happened, I mean, I would imagine 
what's happening now with like people walking out, taking leaves of absences, getting sick, that they should probably start well, finding a way to invest in their talent. Like, I think, um, you know, OTRS, uh, Schleg Daddy, put it best. They're investing so much more in their brand than their talent. And so what you have is you've got like a bunch of people who don't matter because they don't promote their talent. They promote WWE as a brand and as a, as a way of life. Kind of like the shield. You know, it's kind of like the NFL. You protect the shield. I'm going to skip the pleasantries. Okay. I'm going to say something about it. Oh, oh, Cash is Ono. Oh, this will be my last match. Next week it's Cash is Ono. Here we go. Okay, he's in there now. Silence! You people need to understand there's a time and a place to be raucous, but this is not that moment. I came out here and addressed a concern I've had this gentleman in the ring. I called him a hot dog once. Is Cameron Star a promoter? No, Josh, she is not a promoter. Um, there we go. I'm a natural born winner. There we go. Bad blood is a boiling. I think you shut the hell up. Hmm. Are you buying what this superstar is selling? Uh-oh. That's not the right answer because I have a blue now. It's the deficit I have to make up. You are beneath me, insect. In this business. Oh, boy. I don't know if I'm winning this promo, guys. Good to know. I think I'll put together a complete sentence with an egg-shaped head. God, the writing here is so stupid. Like, these aren't really good promos. Are not good dialogues. You're familiar in front of the world. <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. I'm tired of this talk without any actual fighting. Superstars are supposed to fight. This is just some back and forth soap opera melodrama. So I'm out. Oh man. Let's go. Where are my silver tights? My silver tights are locked away in a closet somewhere. <laughs> back in Portland. Uh, yeah, PD Dog, I still do manage. In fact, I'll be managing at the Cow Palace on November 10th in San Francisco. So, um, you should check that out. You should see it if you're going to be in the Bay Area, if you're there. My carrier mode. Oh, man. Uh, thanks so much for watching the stream so far, guys. I'm kind of, like, fading off here. It's just, it's hard to talk and concentrate about anything else with the news. Of Kurt Angle uh, coming out and being coming coming to replace Roman Reigns now at TLC and Finn Balor fighting AJ Styles instead of Bray Wyatt. I am disappointed about the Bray Wyatt thing. I'm one of the two people on the planet that actually is kind of interested in what the Bray Wyatt thing is going to be. Your sister Abigail, we don't get that now. I don't know when we will. Um, the Cow Palace got its name from what I understand. It was originally a it was a Venue for livestock auctions, so cows and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's kind of how it got, got its name. It was also used for sporting events. How do you take a bump on the canvas? Well, you just gotta take one. You'll find out, man. It is good. Torti fucking organic Trader Joe's tortilla chips, man. The best. The best. I should stop eating them though, because. It's rude to eat in front of people. <laughs> yeah, I think that the Sister Abigail thing had a lot of potential. People were kind of shitting on it, but I was a big fan of the presentation of it. And the idea that it was like split personality or possession, one of the two. The fact they never actually addressed what it was, I thought was very interesting. Do you have a theory about Mr. what Mr. Dot Com was all about? Are you talking about Paul Ellering? When he was, it is the era of the web. I'm Mr. Dot Com. 
I don't know. I think Paul Ellering was just like, he had heard about what the internet was and thought that was the hot new thing. And so he's like, I'm just going to call myself Internet Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, the reason, another reason I'm doing this stream isn't just because, you know, it's Friday and we're having fun. I'm also doing this because I um, am not going to have like, a Tuesday video. I was, it's like, I was going to delay putting this out uh, on the, out publicly until, until Tuesday to replace that there was no Tuesday video, but now this is incredibly dated because of the breaking news. So, um, now it's just going to come out <laughs> and uh, I'll put out when it's done. And then, uh, what else to talk about with the, the news? Mm. Ah. Oh. Uh oh. Hmm. So fuzzy bash crash my promo. Oh, I'm teaching about never do that to me or anyone else. Hmm. Interesting. All right, it's the final match of NXT. I guess. <laughs> Ellering should be called Mr. Hashtag now. I think we'll still get Finn Balor, the Pumpkin King, Samane, whatever you want, Samane, whatever you want to call him. Oh, an interview with Ed? Oh, maybe that, maybe. I saw, you know, Josh, I saw Kurt LeBeer's, uh, I didn't see him, I saw that he was at Cauliflower Alley this past year. Um, and then uh, he was there. As a, uh, I don't know why or who. I don't know if he brought himself out there or not. I know somebody interviewed him on YouTube, and it was like the most poorly shot thing I've ever seen. It was like a super it was like a cell phone camera, super blown up. And then you, all you saw was like Colonel DeBeers' face to the entire screen. And then... The guy opened the interview with like a minute and a half of like exposition, like asking this big long multi-part question. <laughs> um, the championship is up for grabs. Coming up next, go. we have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Classic next. Connections versus Young Bucks. Oh, yeah, maybe one of these days we'll get that match. Classic Connections coming up in the world, man. <laughs> they have me dressed up like Uncle Fester to play trick or treat all year long. Um, I, I, I'm still still trying to process the news. It's I'm excited. I'm really excited for what's going to happen at TLC now. I wasn't that terribly interested in TLC when the card was first finalized. But um, now my intrigue is definitely the Grizz. But I mean, you can't, like, that, it's definitely not, like, a sign of, like, oh, things are getting better because it's all, like, it's a matter of, like, emergency and circumstance. So that's what's, that's what's kind of tragic about it is that the whatever joy we were feeling over this news or whatever, like, excitement we were feeling is incredibly fleeting because it's not, like, it's not some change in direction when it comes to creative. It's just like, shit, we got some some uh, right fires to put out here. We have some good. things we have to do that were not an issue before. <laughs> so, it really is, is is the weight difference that drastic? I can't uh, hit him yet. Yo, why Kurt Angle? That is a good question. That wouldn't have been the first person I would have guessed for a replacement. I guess they really wanted to, like, try and pop a viewership on the network. But, uh... It was not to be. Or I, I don't know what I'm saying. I guess I want to pop the viewership. I feel like, yeah, there's better replacements they could have had. I think if he weren't booked so boring and weren't just like as an afterthought right now on the roster, I think Jason Jordan could have been a good third man. And I think that could even help adjust the booking a bit, have the heels go over, Jordan take the fall. So it's not like the shield really failed because Roman was not there. Um, that would be their way of getting around it if it makes sense. Um, because now, like, where are you going to go with this? Like, because, so, Kurt Angle, 
a cell seemingly will uh, help win the match for his team. So the shield will win, is what I'm guessing. And then what happens then? Like, is the Miz going to uh, still take it out on Kurt? Is this going to lead to something for like Miz and Kurt at Mania? That'd be pretty cool. I don't, it's like, it seems that's not going to happen, though. So, like, where do you go from here? On, he's one step ahead on that one. Like this is exactly how a competitor takes control of a match. Oh shit! Some squats. Yeah. And this is how he gets the job done. He's attacking all the major ligaments and joints. Oh, this is BZT, Josh. Not the ZDT. Although I think it might make more sense. There you go. Oh, stupid big jump. He's moving like oh my god. Possessed. Wah, boosh. Oh, here we go. Some flip dudes and arm work. On display here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. <laughs> I need to make a stun granny in this game for sure. That'd be funny. Wow. But it sucks you can't do intergender stuff in this and game. Because nice otherwise, camera. I would just use her for intergender matches nonstop. Ah, that asshole blood mice. My, uh... Signature move. No, man, oh fuck! Knocked right off the apron. Ow. <laughs> um. <laughs> There's a comment here in the chat that remi <laughs> it reminds me of uh, an idea I had for merch. I always thought about like selling little spray bottles, the merch stands and stuff, but like that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Because like little kids will buy them and then they'll like fill them up with water in the bathroom and then like, every time I walk by or whoever heel walks by, they just get sprayed mercilessly. It's like I don't, I don't think that's he just has not. It in him anymore. Uh oh shit. What do we got? Oh fuck. Damn. We're only, match, we're only starting a half here. This is not good. Dave Meltzer's not looking fondly at this. I don't know when Triple H is coming back to the show. Yeah, it's, a, it's like, it's, it's unfortunate. I'm sure, like, some fans are enjoying the fact that Roman won't be involved or like that. Whatever sadists, you know. But, um, shit. That has got to be it. This could do it. Fuck no. Yeah! I kicked out, motherfucker! This is a true NXT match, lots of false finishes and shit is. Superstar can just land the finisher here. This God almighty. Counter! Mm -hmm. Oh, he wrenches it. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher can be oh, used counter the shit. any moment here. He's sending a message ah. to the entire WWE locker room here. Oh fuck you! I'm a lot faster than I thought he would. <laughs> no. Going with the inside cradle. He thinks he has it. Two. Whoa! Drama has been heightened. We're still at two two stars though. I'm supposed to get a three star finish here. It's gonna be hard at this rate to survive and also to get three stars. Looks to me, guys, fuck. Like the champ has no plans on losing the title anytime um, soon. Shit, no. Ah, you can block this, Brian. You can get out of this. Come on. Oh, fuck too late. Ah, that sucks. I could have counted it, but I couldn't. I saw there was a prompt. Shit. Oh, my God. Come on. Fuck. No. Yeah. You won't beat me, Cassius. I got dreams. Fuck. There you go, finally. Oh, the hope spot. Here comes the hope spot. Oh, fuck. He just lit his ass up. No, out of nowhere. He's down. And his arm is just kind of slipping and slapping around. Oh, my God. You'd have to think hitting the finisher yeah. could end this thing. Uh oh, he's still fighting. Looking to turn the Come back time. You can't argue with Oh my god. The drama's been so seriously high in you guys. Ever seen him in. 
Here he goes. Oh shit! Wow, like this cat, this comeback is just out of nowhere at this point. I love it. Out of oh my god, the DDT! The YAJ. I don't know. I guess they wanted to really just say fuck it. Let's just put on a good show and. <laughs> That is interesting, you know, it's Faye, it's, it's AJ and Finn with no, look at that, what a comeback, I just took so much shit for like the whole match, then I hit some comeback moves. Oh man, that was a hard fought battle near the end, I was just getting stressed, I kept kicking out all of his big shit too. Yeah, that's true, I wonder, I wonder if they'll play up at all in the Finn-AJ uh, relationship, the fact they were both members of the Bullet Club. Boom. Wow, close call. Here is your winner, and still the NXT champion. <laughs> they should scream and open more loot cases. And yeah, that wasn't a John Cena like comeback. Came from the depths for that one. Huh, oh, man, that was that was heart pounding action. Let's see here. Oh, nice. I I, I just got uh, some word that. My next item I'm receiving for uh, the next edition of Wrestling Food Taste Test is uh, coming in the mail today. That should be fun. Oh, yes. It's been a while. We should talk about this. The uh, TLC news. It's been a few minutes. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in to the live stream, uh, the news is that Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt are both out of TLC with either meningitis or the mumps. There seems to be two different stories uh, right now. And then uh, Romans are... What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> so weird. And then Roman's replacement for TLC is going to be none other than the GM Kurt Angle, um, and that's just that's just how it is. Kurt Angle's coming back after 11 years out of a WWE ring, and two years from being retired officially. And then um, I love Baron Blades for incomplete sentences. <laughs> I'll give a good goodbye speech. So then, um, what was that? I was just totally random. I totally got confused here, got lost, distracted. Um, so, what else? Yeah, Bray Wyatt is out as well, and he's replaced by AJ Styles. So that should be a good match. But, like, you know, as fun as it is to see this news, it's also disappointing because, like, no build for what is sure to be a great match with AJ and Finn. Like, that's just kind of like, it's there now. And then, um, who's this guy? Who, who's CAW is this? <laughs> Love the red frosted tips. Hey. You're actually Damien Azrael. Yeah. Uh, Roman's gone. Kurt Angle's replacing him. And if, if, there, if the plan was to ever... Uh, have him come back for um, is it Austin Aries? <laughs> oh no, it's Bobby Roode. No, if, if the plan was to ever have Kurt return for WrestleMania debut, then like they they, they got jumped up significantly. <laughs> all right, well they're all saying words of encouragement now. Yeah, I I would seriously doubt. If Rome, if it's like a wellness thing, so there's there's a there's a conspiracy theory out there now. I'm seeing in the chats that it's like, oh, it's a cover up for wellness. I don't think they would bust, you know. That feels like it, it's it's very pre. Uh, it's, it, it's, it feels like very much before the wellness policy became firmly in place. Because when it first happened, I think they were full of shit when they said all those people got liver enzymes. Oh, they had liver enzymes. Um. But they, they, they couldn't get away with doing that here, I don't think. <laughs> that would be a little beyond the pale. Hmm. <laughs> no, I know it wouldn't be a cover-up. Um, gang girls Canadian. Um, what else though? 
it's yeah, it's just madness. And yeah, with everything Finn and AJ way, we thought we might see him would be a good match, but this is gonna be awesome. it's just too bad that it has to happen with zero build. No, that was a that was an Oreo I had. That was not cheese it. Here we go. The promo of my life. Oh, there's some heel promos here. I've been languishing forever for two months. Everything was holding me up. I don't know, but I can guess. Pull the inevitable conquest. How'd that work out for you? You clue in. You failed. All I managed to do is to delay me and piss me off. There we go. Why my quality is obvious is beyond me. Ignoring me stops now as I ascend. Oh, Shani Salali, the future will hear it. The future, 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 future. Motherfucker. Oh, I botched it. Now we know what we have in store. Man, you can't fake passion like that. Well, well I tried. Any indication? We're in for one epic night. You see, I wanted the Finn Bray match to happen. I wanted to see what Sister Abigail would be like. I was really excited about that. And now it's not happening. I don't know, like, they 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 they, they really backed themselves into a corner with Bray. Because now he is Sister Abigail. I'm like, it's gonna have to happen now. Um, whether they have to wait till Survivor Series or just do an episode of Raw, I don't know. But they've booked that match now, and they've really built it up in such a way that they better deliver. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, um, the news, yeah, it's, again, it'll be, it'll be a great match, but I'm disappointed that that's how it's happening. Out of style, like it. Triple H is waiting for your best check in. See you someday, yeah? We'll miss you. Do I love? Can't help it. Welcome. God, why do you, do you hate pronouns? Go on now. Big time's waiting. See you. Wow, I think this guy has like, been the victim of a head trauma. This must be why he's like, retired and doing like backstage work. <laughs> Okay, well, that's probably the end of this chapter. We can do a little more online stuff. And then, uh, where is Triple H? Oh, he's probably in his office, isn't he? Oh, no, there he is. Is he ever in his fucking office? Like, what the hell? Anyone here? Nope, just exercise equipment again. No one is in here. This is a weird locker room. All right, here we go. Hey, Spade. Oh, I don't have a choice in this, do I? Lay it on me. We want you in Raw on Mondays. Okay. Exactly what I was going to say. Likewise. Blah, 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 blah. What a weird world. Any Halloween themed episodes? Yes, next week uh, there will be a Halloween themed episode. Well, spooky themed. It will be something that you would watch on Halloween. It's, I can't tell you specifically what it is. I don't want to give it away, but I think you'll enjoy it. Then after next week, it's Marine Month, where every Thursday I'm reviewing in November. Uh, a Marine movie. So we're going from Marine 1 all the way to Marine 5 with The Miz and The Miz Tourage. And everyone in there. Okay, I think I'll wrap this up. Oh, God, it's Stephanie. Ah, oh, my God. Ugh. She's very animated arms and her hair is, looks like tentacles. Mm. I'm just in this for the glory. <laughs> Calm my damn couch. Marine life. <laughs> Have I lost the world to live? It's 
Smojo. He's a walking target, basically at all times. Yours or his? Same thing at this point. I want to make sure he remains on top. Beating your career up is the best way to show your quality. Without a doubt. Good man. Got to our producer there. Okay, I'll stop. It's gone long enough. Todd Mullen. All right, I'm going to stop there with the My Career, and we'll go back to doing a uh, live such and such. Um, what time are we at now? Where to, Stephanie? Let's see here. I will. I, I, I'm deliberating. I might do a couple more online matches, nothing too in depth, and then I will. From there, go to um, uh, maybe do a Royal Rumble after that. Okay, so we're going to do some more online, such and such. So if you want to send me some invites, now is the time. Okay, PETA chat. We'll put his uh, submission up here. Just after six on the East Coast. Uh, I don't plan on reviewing Cena Wheel 2 at this point. Um, maybe. It's you again. No, it's not like you. Um, no, no. No, I didn't. Didn't want to be Seth Rollins. <laughs> I got confused. Hey, Terry Brass. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this news—it's just crazy to see um, how people are reacting in the Twitterverse to this news. Um, what the hell is even happening? Says Stephen Larson. Matthew from Botchamin goes, "What the fuck?" Um, Jason Solomon from Solo Monster says, "This has just become a must-see show." How many goddamn people was Bray having affairs with? was Vincent Mann's Google Twitter account. You look up Vincent Mann Googling, it's pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> like, goddamn affairs is pretty happy. <laughs> Based on the electricity oh, man. and traveling um, through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe yeah, to say the room it's crazy how the name just spreads. It's no fun, man, I imagine. I've never had it, but I would not wish it upon anyone. Superstars are ready. San Jose is ready. And here we go. There we go. I wonder if Drew Gulak's PowerPoint will be, will, uh, will, will, uh, will. Tell me your thoughts there you go. Yeah! There you go. Because I wonder if Drew Gulak's PowerPoint will reflect the big news, the big change in the uh, right, schedule of the card. Some popcorn, grab your favorite <laughs> drink and settle in. This is going to be a barn burner. Hey, Michael, all I know is that Chris, the only wrestler besides Flair to wrestle in Hall of Fame, to wrestle as a Hall of Famer in WWE. I guess so. Yeah. Look at Shane McMahon here. Here we go. Now, last time we did online stuff, I barely won with Michael Malish's one sheet slam. against Shane McMahon. So, we'll see if Seth Rollins can do any better. Inside the ring now. There you go. That'll teach you. That's like Boom. watching someone being manhandled. What force? Wow, CrossFit Jesus. I'm gonna take these ropes. We're fucking them up. <laughs> there we go. Try and run. Shit. Yes. Nice job by Shane McMahon. Uh, Hogan was not in the Hall of Fame when he wrestled last. Uh, he was in the Hall of Fame and then he wrestled for Impact. But that is not the same thing about any stretch of the imagination. Great offense by Shane McMahon. Now it's Shane Ooh. McMahon with some reason for concern. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Yeah, he's taking on some offense. Seth Rollins now he attack. Especially considering who he's in the ring with. But it's still a little too early to get overly concerned here. If you ask me, they both seem Shit. pretty even as far as health is concerned. Play some heavy rain. Oh, God. That game is, listen, it sounds depressing. I don't want any part of that. 
That and like The Last of Us. I mean, I tried to make it through that game, I just couldn't finish it. And he doesn't stay down for long. That would have been a shocker. Big miss for him there. Fuck. And likely pay for it here. I wish everyone had like a quick attack like Samoa Joe did. That's a combination. Bam. All right. Executed, guys. I can't Hard do shit right now because he's got all the time in the world. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. Ah. Oh, well, we'll see. Oh, uh, uh, I'll have a cookie while I'm you know, waiting for this move to get done. No, fire, no way. Shane oh, you know that. It's got to be out of his mind. <laughs> Do a little bit of traveling, coast to coast. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. Sharing sodas will just is just as reckless as jumping off the top rope. Yep, that's exactly right, Jeff. Here we go. Can he do it here? One. You no, fuck you! You're not beating me. Way too athletic. Can't keep him down the news from TLC that. is that Roman Reigns is out of the TLC match in the main event, and the Roman and Sheamus Kurt Angle is in. Kurt Angle is coming out of retirement to yeah, wrestle in the main event of this match we'll with like zero build. <laughs> um, and then meanwhile, Bray Wyatt is out with the same right, medical condition that Roman has. And uh, AJ Styles will be replacing him. So it is a wild time here in the WWE. Uh, Rounds in a tough situation here, folks. Tonight may not. He could pin his opponent right here. Whoa. Two. Two. A kill. Oh. And he almost had him. Wow. We're at three and a half stars now, sure folks. Shit. No stopping him now. Don't be a dick. Fuck off. Rollins gets out of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Shane this sucks. Turns it around. Um, yeah, so crazy news happening now. Probably one of the biggest stories to happen uh, like this in quite some time. It's the, the, and, the, and the combination of other news happening with the roster, things like yeah, the fact that Neville's walked out. Nia is taking a leave of absence. Um, and then there's people getting sick and being taken off of cards. Um, come on. What a shot by See, this is totally not realistic, the fact that Shane's punches are all connected here. Out. There we go. Fuck you. Boom. He's in complete control now. This is Shane McMahon's chance. How do you think Shane McMahon could unleash substantial punishment right now? Ah. I'm not sure how much more he has to give. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not there looking so go. hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. And he Boom! Fuck you! Ha-ha! <laughs> Has a locker room ever been affected by like like this? Uh, I haven't heard anything like this something happened all at once. I have never heard of that before. Um, I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used at It's pretty crazy though, here. nonetheless. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble and quickly. He's making a statement here with this attack. Jesus. Some more counters. Um and now there's rumors that Kevin Owens has left the South the South American tour. So a lot of weird things happening right now at the company, and you know if you if you think about tonight, the big cast got injured not long ago and was you know he's out of the equation. Um, I know that's very unrelated, but it's still like it just adds on. It's getting this point where it kind of how many more people can you afford to lose? What kind of critical mass are we getting here? Um, it is very unfortunate, I think. Look at this. The timing really couldn't be worse. Or this a company. Here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. There's a lot of different ways this can go, Byron. Yeah, and almost. Boom! Not technically in the corner, but still fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice job by Shane McMahon. Why did Neville walk out? Um, no one knows. Uh, that's never really been a, uh, a fit made official as to why. Um, people have theories. People theorized, oh, because he didn't want to lose to Enzo Amore. 
Um, then like the fact that like he wanted to leave a while ago because he felt he got stiffed on like mania placement and pay. Oh shit! Oh my god! Seth Rollins playing a little head games right now. And Shane is dead. Yes, there are, it is crazy news we have here in this, in this crazy time of ours. The fact that the chain, the, the match, the card is so drastically changed now. Because at first, really the most exciting thing about the show, or one of the most exciting things, was the fact that you know, Oscar was debuting and oh, the Shield's coming back. Well, now you've got Kurt Angle making his return to the ring in 11 years. Fuck. And then you've got um, more chance. Here we go. Being a boosh. Here we go. One, two, two. Ah, so close. Um, and then you've got Bray, AJ Styles fighting Finn Balor in a match that has no build. <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh yes, how original! Another counter. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His what do we call him, Mark? Clearly compromised. Shit. Wisely bringing the action back into the ring. Yeah, the shield is back, and Roman is sick. Great timing. And just yeah, with Bray Wyatt, uh, he—I don't know if he's like the the center of all this or what. It's kind of awkward if that's the case. Somebody wound him Thank you. Here. There you go. Now there's the counter. Damn ref bump, get out of the way. Stop. He wants to do this in the ring. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. <laughs> ah, man. That's a combination, bam! But can he follow up here? That seems it could be over here. Nope. Yeah! Suck it! <laughs> Oh, come on. You can do this. Boom. Fuck off. You won't get me again. Oh, yeah. Here's Seth Rollins. Ah. Boom. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. <laughs> this is uh, quite the match so far. The ropes. Boom. Has him right where he One more time. Oh, God. I'm keeping you away from the ropes this time, friend. Ah, that's gotta be it. it right Two records. No, you cocksucker! <laughs> you kick out of that again. Ah, I'm mad at you now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you were determined. He's delivering a great job escaping, trying to turn this thing <laughs> You're not going to get me. <laughs> Avoids trouble there. Come on. Look at Shane McMahon here. Red hook. Let's start with my outburst. <laughs> Shit. Come on. No, 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 Shane no, no, no. Is calling for it. Oh, damn it. You're going to hit with the finisher. <laughs> no. Hey, John Fist. Oh man, boy, I sure feel stupid for my. Uh... Oh man, Seth's arm is all shaky. I feel stupid for the uh, me putting out my TLC predictions video and then like later that day. Oh, everything you know is different now. Does he have My only regret, my only sadness, having to do with this is the fact that I will not be able to watch it live, live because. Um, ah. Excuse me, because I'll be out of town and we'll be away from like, television for a bit. He thinks he has it. So, um, won't be able to see it as live. I'll try and watch it that night and hopefully do my review on it. One way or another. <clears throat> Incoming. Fuck off. Yeah, so you better believe I'm trying to say this shit. Man turns it around. Seth Rollins finds a way out. Ah, one more time. For all time's sake. Ah. <laughs> this better be it. It's gotta be it. Two. 
Ah, I did it again. You can't beat me, Pete. Five stars. Count them. Five stars. <clears throat> Good match, though. Well, you know, it's like any glitches found so far. I have not found glitches myself. I've seen glitches online. I know they exist. I've just never seen them myself. I have not unlocked any glitches of my own. <clears throat> so I can't speak to that. Uh, let's see here. Who we got? Let's do one more. No longer used. Okay, I'll do one more online match, then I will uh, move on to the Ramble Rumble. What is this icon here I'm looking at? Dragoon Mastro. Uh, how about how far we got my career? I just made it to the main roster. I just started on Raw. I haven't done anything there, so. Is this the best game yet? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's an improvement from the last couple of games, in my opinion. But I don't, uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, my favorite game will always be No Mercy. So. No, not you again, Pita Chat. You lost your chance. I'm looking for new people. Uh, I don't know if I can invite... Well, shit, let's try it. <clears throat> I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll try. Can I even host a Royal Rumble match? I don't think you can. Let's see here. Let's let's just do Royal Rumble now. That's what's fun. Uh, Thirty man. I will. Let's see here. Um, match options. Who we got in this? Who's in this thing? Let's try and get rid of the. Okay, lose you. Lose you. KNFC, yes. Oh no. Uh, no, we'll get those guys in there. Luke Harper, Dick Roberts, this is him. Mr. Perfect. Brown. Hmm. And I think that's probably gonna do it. So now, got Daniel Fryan, KF Cinema, Michael Film Machine, BFG. And uh, who else are we going to get? get? Jack Gallagher. Let's get Jinder Mahal. Let's get Kane. Let's get Carl Anderson, but not Luke Gallows for some reason. Uh, no. Yeah, let's get Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Okay. That looks right to me. Um, who am I going to be? Who am I? I should be one of the people that's in this actual match. I'll be Michael Love Machine. Random. <laughs> yes, I forget. I forget the name of the fan who who made them, but he made a lot of like KFC themed uh, CAWs for me. I got this guy, Impact Fan, who keeps tweeting me and harassing me about, uh, that, oh, the, sink, the ship is sinking. I don't think the ship is sinking. I think it's got some, it's been beat up a bit, but it's not sinking. Cyber JoJo is really all we can ask for at this point, folks, because we damn sure can't get the real thing until she gets clear of that meningitis. <laughs> will join in in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 30 mm. superstars have entered the ring. I did, I did see the thing spayed about uh, the KFC account only following 11 people. The Spice Girls and Six Dudes named Curb 
That's genius. Um, oh, there's just uh, some dude who, who asks me on Twitter all the time saying, oh, the ship is sinking in Dobie, you know, all these problems, da, 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 whatever, fuck it. <laughs> oh, shit, Brock's number one. That would never happen. Yes. Yes, Felix, that was Great American Bash 2006. Great Khali couldn't even show up for his own and match. From Minneapolis, <laughs> the Boom Jobby Prison. Time guys, and I'd say that this is easily one of the oh, most man. exciting um, matches of the year. It really is. Cena has come a long way since the Marine. It's true because I just finished watching the Marine with John Cena, and man, like 2006 Cena, 2017 Cena, very different. What about you, Byron? He obviously looks good physically, but do you think he's mentally prepared for tonight? All right, who's number two? Who's Drew number two? And. This suspense is killing me. People's hands are in each other's laps. They're grabbing each other's crotches. What? Who? Who is this? I wish I had music to play. So I knew what the hell's going on. Are we just in a loading screen? What's happening? Why? Oh god, that was the longest load time ever. Oh shit! Boy, it's random. It's number two. I haven't upgraded. I haven't made the actual entrance yet. Yes, I should make a bunch of CAWs for the Regrettiverse, like Big Hoss and McGraw. Oh, fuck! Oh, no! God! <laughs> he literally starts by running at me. I didn't see it coming. Oh, God, he's going to kill me. <laughs> Jesus. No. I won't be denied. Boosh! Oh yes! <laughs> Let me take you down. My life is a better clothesline. This would be extremely tough to go. Oh my god. Here. Who's number three? Who's gonna save my ass? Kofi! Kofi Kingston! Yeah! What kind of tactics are going to help Here, I'll wrestle you. It's more evenly matched. Years, the Royal Rumble match has brought together sports on tear. Greatest athletes. Tonight's match oh, is shit. everything you expect. Nice. He needs to remember that conserving his strength is just oh God. as important as picking Still his can't touch him yet. So when this match comes down to the bitter Boom. End, he's there to be victorious. Wow. Entry number four. Who's entry number four. And he executes a picture perfect Russian leg sweep. Oh, oh shh. It's not looking good for us wee folk. Down with authority. Franz Strowman and Mike the Maleficent love machine. Oh God. Good hip toss. Oh, nice! <laughs> ah, he's on fire! My devil is a love machine, cannot be stopped! Oh god, now I'm, now I'm stuck with Braun Strowman, because Brock's not Kofi. Oh god. Here we go with number five. Oh shit! <laughs> Counter's moving to a DDT. Oh god, the Undertaker! Come on! This is getting ridiculous! Oh god, this is not good. This is not fun. You still got it. Look, I'm on fire. Kofi Kingston is one of the most popular superstars in WWE. I think it'll lose a little bit. Come on! Oh no! Oh. He's not done. He's not ready yet. Ah, fuck you, Undertaker. Ah. Oh, shit. It's Undercooked KFC. What a stare down. Undercooked KFC and the Undertaker. Okay. Oh, no, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. I could do an elimination, Sean Bear. Oh, shit. No. Mike's got to live to fight another day. Don't you do it. No. Oh, God. Fight it. You can do it, kid. Stay in there. Oh, the biz. Okay. Finally, the, the average weight of the people in this ring is going down a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, I picked up a, a strike. Of Mike the Maleficent Love Machine. Oh, here we go. 
He's inflicting oh, some serious pain. Help with the flip deuce. Comes up big with the reversal. Yep, this ring holds eight now this year. And he goes down hard. I'm seeing double. Four takers. Who's this gonna be? Well, who's next? Oh, Our truth. All right, we've maxed out. We've built the range capacity. Oh man! Oh, that was a hard shot. What a strike! So much like, power. Man, cycling through all those people is annoying as hell. Oh God! No! That's right. Think about like that, bitch. Ugh. I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna slam you down, Taker. Oh shit! Undercooked KFC is already out. Oh, the big punch. Wow! And gets out of harm's way. Oh boy, that could have been bad, Michael. Please review TLC 2012. Why? Wow. With the Shields that. debut, I guess yes, it is, yeah. But why? Why do you want me to review it so bad? Nice job getting out of trouble. It's not even a classic pay per view. It's like four, five years old. And now he goes for it a second time. Shit. Whoops, not even close. What was he thinking? Oh, I guess I love the audio. Bro! Man, I'm still in this thing. I was number two. Boom. Oh, I made him mad. Um, do you think other people can kill interesting talent matches? No. I think it actually makes it more exciting. How long can you keep the streak going? That's, that's part of the uh, charm of those kind of gimmicks. Is that if you do it just right, it can be really interesting. Mike the Maleficent Love Machine will not be denied. Hoo ha! All right, I'm gonna let Lesnar now. I'm calling it. I'm calling my shot. Yeah. Fuck you. We can do this. We can do this, everyone. Reach out. Grab my hand. We're taking Lesnar out of there. Fuck you. Yeah. What? No. I did it. I filled the meter. Oh, you asshole. I'm dead. Yeah, get out. Looks to make an elimination here. Okay, do it again. We can do it again. We can do it again, folks. Yes. Yes, we can. We're gonna eliminate Lesnar. Oh no! What are you fucking? That's the second time now. Are you kidding me? I had him. Fuck. I'm so fucked. No! That's bullshit. That is such bullshit. <laughs> I had him. Look at this effort. Yeah, this might just be. God. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. There's the elimination, Corey. What took him so long? Got all that one. Oh, my beater was backwards. That's weird. I thought I have. I was thought I was beating him. <laughs> Looks like he's been worn down enough. Could be trouble here, guys. He has him right where he wants him. Here, come on, bring it number thirteen. I didn't realize the meter was. Uh, well, no, it changes depending on who you, what, if you're trying to escape or if you're the one being eliminated or the one eliminating. I thought it was different. Yeah, I did mash as fast as possible. Did you not hear the mashing? That's what I was fucking doing, Team Easy Wins. Thank you. I mean, I hope that these matches that have, like, been changed drastically at TLC... I hope, like, Finn and AJ doesn't end in some bullshit thing. I mean, I don't want to see a... It's like, I don't want to see Jinder get involved to get heat because he's feuding with AJ now. I'm sure it will, but, um... I don't know, I think it would be annoying if we did that. It probably is the best thing to do, though, to have that strong ending or have a big, dirty win because... Oh, fuck, Luke Harper? Okay. Oh, wait, no, I'm 13. Why is that? Why is that? Wait for a while. 
Look out, a super kick right to the chin. Devastating. I don't do song requests. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out. What promotion would I like to watch if I had enough time? Literally any of them, really, would be nice. Like, I'd love to watch more Impact. Or love to watch these other guys. But I don't have right time. Now. There's not enough time for me. Okay. I'm 13th, that's right. History tells us they will spend the most time in there only to come up short for their own. Oh, yeah, I'm 11. God, it's going to be a long match. Long, long match. You can say that again. Uh, yeah, so those of you who are just tuning in, the big story with TLC is, you know, it's a, it's a couple hours, the news is a couple hours old now, a couple three hours old, but it's uh, still, you know, a big deal. Oh, fuck with the TJP. That um, Roman Reigns is out for the TLC match, and Kurt Angle is coming back to uh, fill in for him. Maybe he's a long way to return at this B-show pay-per-view. Zero build. And, um... Then you've got, uh, yeah, Finn Balor is fighting AJ Styles at the pay-per-view and not Bray Wyatt because everyone is out with the mumps or Mega Giants still in Kurt Angle returning, it's crazy. It's, uh, it, I mean, it's, it has to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, like, news story in WWE, short of, like, a death, you know, uh, to have this dramatic booking, this booking just dramatically change like that. Uh, such nice short notice, there. and what, all the stuff they're writing and the stuff they're building toward is like Big totally Mr. out the window. Well, dude, love is in and out because you know the sister Abigail. I thought was a very interesting storyline, and uh, we're not going to see the payoff to that. If uh, not now, we're not going to see it for a while. Um, I mean, I, well, I bet you. I mean, if. If Jinder isn't involved in the match on Sunday, then I think what'll happen is the finish might be Bray Wyatt and Sister Abigail interrupt on the screen or something. But after the match is over, uh, something like that, just to keep that character fresh in the mind, because from there it'll be like a couple more, at least two more weeks before they get them back. Um, and then again, like, on my mind is constant thinking of these contingency plans. Like, oh, Shim Kane! Yes, all right, I'll take it. Um, you know, I, and there's, I, I was kind of like thinking there's a, there's a, there's a doubter in me that thinks that, you know, um, Kurt Angle will be beaten up backstage by uh, the heels before the match and won't actually be in it or have limited time. Because I think it's, it's kind of disappointing to have, like, his big return match happen on such short notice on like, nothing pay-per-view. <clears throat> It'll make the pay-per-view more interesting to watch, that's for sure. I was already, you know, there were some matches I was excited about before, but now even more so. Well, Kane to... Here's Jinder Mahal. Oh, shh! Kane is... House of Fire. Okay, got Jinder Mahal... I think it's sort of jip for Jinder. The fact that like it's it's Jinder Mahal like pre singles push, so it's, he doesn't have the same character that he does now. I think it's uh, like his Titan Charms, the shitty papyrus font that he had before he uh, was a champion. Well executed. There's the elimination point. What took him so long? The man's with the offense. There we go. Come on. Oh shit! I'm gonna give Strowman for your off. Exclamation point! No less. Neutralizes him with an elbow. Ooh, ah. there you go. Oh, how's it run? That was amazing. Ron Strowman. Look at this. He's going eliminated. back to an old friend with that one. He's simply reminding him that he's here. He's taking a look. Shit, we all ganged up by Ginger and Truth. Perhaps Truth? Awesome here, Cole. Oh, did TJP eliminate Lesnar? I missed that. He's stumbling some now. He came into this match looking for the show. And it looks like he found one. Okay, now I see I what the be fucking... I to see him get picked off here soon. He's just not looking very see, good. See, now right. I'm, I'm going to eliminate him. See, right I'm, I'm working on it. No! Fine. <laughs> oh, shit. Look out. Backbreaker. He's targeting the midsection here. Oh, our truth on the second rope. Has him in his getting up. But get up, noise. Oh, Did you see the impact on that DDT? When I think of Miz and Kane together, all I can think of Scooby-Doo cartoons where they interacted. 
Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure guy. Number 15 incoming, boys. All right, we're halfway through. Plenty of force behind that shot. Here he comes, and he's got as good a chance as any to win this thing. Maybe a better chance. If Jack Gallagher. There we go. Backbreaker again. Backbreaker back with my knee like so. Not much more can be endured, I think, here for the Miz. It just doesn't seem to be. So he's slamming you. I'm slamming you. I'm slamming you. To get him over the top rope at this point. Heck, a gentle breeze might even do uh, Do any of the workers who do my intros know who I am? Sometimes they do. That's not every day, though. Not every one. Just making his presence felt. Boom. The day with Tom. I didn't think I left him in here. Uh, out you go. No. Really? Oh. Now we have <laughs> on the attack. He gets it with a reversal. Shit. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Yeah. It's like the pre-push gender where he's still doing like the the hand gesture there. So he's not doing that. His entrance isn't nearly as cool in this game as it is in real life. So it's disappointing that he, like he's been given this big push and like he's the he's the built-in champion of the game and it's like shit. <laughs> oh shit! It's the BFG! The whole dynamic of this match has changed, folks. The BFG is in here. He's towering over everyone. Oh my god! This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh shit. No! No! The BFG's gonna eliminate the big red machine! No! Wow! <laughs> Oh shit, the... Can you believe it? And it's reversed. I don't know where I'm coming back at. I didn't see the counter. Oh, God. That was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get rid of it. Follow your dream and go to go to beat. Uh, yeah, try it. No, no work for it, man. Like, he's simply reminding him that he's here. Okay, I'm Dean. Dean, the mean B machine. Oh shit! Gender. Oh, and he reverses it. That's plenty. That could have been and a powerful forearm. Driven back down to the mat with unbelievable power. Our troop with the offense. There we go. Oh, Jack Gallagher was so tiny compared to BFG. Hold up. This might just be it for him, Michael. Wow, an A-list knee strike by the Miz. God damn it. I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Oh, this is this, this giant is a man of my own creation. It's called the BFG. He's a, he's a, big, he's a big, big dude. What took him so long? Mark Henry, number 19. Get more intense. Here comes the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Oh shit. Somebody's gonna get their ass whipped. Considering his lack of gear, does that make Dean a trash bagger? No, because he started out as something wearing gear, and that's okay. It's okay to make the transition if the gimmick allows it. But if you think you can get by just because some guys from TV do it, and you haven't worked your way through it, yeah, you know, and if it's a, you know, you can come over if, it, if it's, if it's, not necessarily required of your gimmick, then yeah, I would have more of a problem with it. Um, who here listened to the stream in just two minutes has not heard the TLC news? Roman Reigns is going to be replaced by Kurt Angle at TLC in the TLC match. And then uh, Bray Wyatt is out as well, and so AJ Styles will be wrestling uh, Finn Balor in his place. Uh, and I will say, I said this before so far in the stream, that uh, it really... With Angle coming in here and the Shield not really being a unit anymore, really doesn't. It really means you don't need that five-on-three advantage anymore. Like that was pretty much put there solely to give you know, oh, what's going to happen? Will the Shield be able to you know overcome the odds? Oh shit! Oh no! He powers out of it. He's too big. But now it's um, uh, you know. But now Angle there, it's, like it's a totally different dynamic. The story isn't the shield is back together. The story isn't, holy shit, Angle's back. And so to have him in this five-on-three as his return is kind of a weird way to bring him back. My he misses there. There's the elimination, Byron. That was there we go. Gallagher. 
Our truth is out. Oh shit! Oh, Mark Henry's got a bone pick with me. Pick him up! Oh my God! Slam him down. No, they're not out due to injuries. They are out due to illness because apparently there is some meningitis running around. Oh, I fucked up. I realized I I I, I, I didn't know I had deleted the people. I thought I was uh, replacing those people. The ones I didn't select. It's annoying. Okay. Hi. Uh, Gary, that's kind of an ignorant thing to say. I mean, you, know, you can't say the company screwed up. The change is here completely out of the company's control. I think they're doing really the best with what they've got. Um, there's, uh, I think there's other choices you could have made that would have saved you from having to pull the trigger on bringing Kurt Angle back, but at the same time, you wouldn't have gotten, you wouldn't have had as interesting a match. Like, you could replace Kurt Angle with Jason Jordan, or you could replace Roman Reigns with Jason Jordan, but no one cares about Jordan right now because they've been booking it. It does make sense to have him there because of the conflict that he has with the Miz, but they haven't really touched on that since he had that match No Mercy. So I don't think it's going to be, it's not an issue, oh, they screwed up. Like, I don't think, and I think the, the pay-per-view will actually, it might improve because of these changes and not necessarily, uh, be bad. Oh, nice counter by fucking Carl Anderson. Um, but it just it, it makes it very it makes it much more interesting than that. And that's elimination right there, guys, with an exclamation point. No less. A little snotty. It should have been postponed. No, I get it. Well, I mean, you can postpone some matches, but I mean, it would be tough to it would be tough to reorganize all eight of those dudes, um, just because. Um, one person's out. That would take a lot more work than doing what they did. Oh, the BFG's out! It's Kane FC! Kane FC is in! Yeah, you can't postpone the pay-per-view. That's just... There's there's no way they can do that. They have contracts uh, to fulfill with the pay-per-view companies that they still work with. Number 24 has a good chance of winning this, guys. Here comes Triple H! Triple H, oh shit, oh no! I think of the changes, the one I'm most disappointed in is the fact that it's going to be, I mean, AJ Styles and Finn's going to be a great match, but that's not the one I want to see this time. I want to see, I want to see Sister Abigail. I want to see how that turns out and like how it's received and what it looks like, but we're not going to get that now, and I don't know if we'll get it at all at this point. Um, I mean, it can't be an issue where Bray comes back and it's just Bray again. Like, nothing happens. They have to have a kind of conclusion to the, uh, to the Bray Wyatt and Sister Abigail issue. So, that's that's my take on it. I, I don't know if, if uh, they'll have Sister Abigail interfere on the big screen. Um, during the match to cost uh, cost Finn the match or what? Oh shit! Oh no, Kane's not gonna get suplexed. I like the boost that they get Kane can to see too. Ah, mm. Yeah, I heard that right back comment too. I haven't heard the whole content, so I don't know. Like, what's, yeah. You know, I don't want to say it's been taken out of context or not, but I mean, I'm sure if I heard the whole thing, it would make a lot more sense or I would understand more of what he's trying to say. Uh, but no, I, don't think, I think it's pretty rude to say if you're a female wrestling fan, you have mental issues. That's inaccurate. Yeah, but of the guys in the ring right now, he's just as capable as any of winning this thing and going on to WrestleMania. But it's still a is a lot of fun. Oh, hey, Autumn. See you here. They both seem pretty even as far as health is concerned. Oh, come on. Here we go, guys. Elimination coming up. Who's it going to be, fellas? Shit, where are we at? What number are we at here? 25, 27. Oh, shit, okay. Now we'll get eliminated soon. We want to see who else is left. Oh, now it's stacked. Got Kane, got The Rock, Finn Balor, Carl Anderson. And once again, we see a return to this specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. He's dead here while everyone's doing stuff. Having fun. Ah! 
There's the elimination. KFC is out. That was amazing. A competitor has oh, been go. eliminated. Man, yeah. Enter next. It's time to mix. All right, who's 28? Aiden, Aiden English. It's Rusev D. Destructive strike. Nah, I'm not going to make an escape. No. Who am I kidding? Something else here? Well, Fuck it. unless it results in an elimination, it's the wrong move. Looks like we might get an elimination, guys. <laughs> Synchronized slammage. Made him pay there. I am kind of fighting a bit of a cold. That's unfortunate. Um, nice job getting out of control control there. You know what happens every, every, every time you get a flu shot? You always want to get a cold. That's what happened to me. I got my flu shot this last weekend. I feel like I've been fighting something off for seven. Superstar entering the fray here. This Ooh, KF Cinema. Almost knocked silly by that strike. Hits him with the uppercut. Oh, your resolve is breaking. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Ah, fuck it. The Rock may be in a bad way here. He looks to be a little surprised right now. It's going to be Rusev Day. Day. Every day is Rusev Day. Yes, your resolve, guys. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with him. It looks to me like he took his foot off the It's too bad you couldn't get the old school gold dust uh, face paint in this game. He went back to it just too late. Scary when he gets rolling like this. Shit! Alright. Alright, I'm coming to this number 30. I'm going to win the whole thing. I'm calling right now. Pete Rose. Yeah, what is, why did Carl Anderson have a Rikishi driver? That's weird. I'm going to wrap the screen up after this. Daniel Fryan! Yes! He got all that one. That landed perfectly. There's the elimination, Byron. That was amazing. A competitor has been A competitor has been Come on. Daniel Fryan. Could be done for. You have to wonder how much longer you Opinion on Deuce and Domino. I never cared about them. I really didn't. I think that was during a time period where I was kind of like not watching as much as, as regularly as I, as I used to, as I do now. So it's not a time period to look back on very fondly. Oh shit. English turns it around. Whoop. Nope. Daniel Fry and clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Fireman's carry city. Clap, 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 clap. Do you want potato wedges? Yes. You know, I think it's funny. When Daniel Bryan finally does get out of his contract and starts working indie dates again, because we know who will, uh, I feel like he's going to be kind of boned because he won't be able to use like all like the shit that got him over. Like, I don't think he'll be... I, I have a strong feeling he won't be able to get away with doing the yes chance. Because, fuck, if, if WWE's putting a cease and desist on, you know, uh, too sweet, then you better believe they got a copyright. Yeah, trademark on yes, for sure. Now there's the counter. To the entire WWE locker room here. Oh no! Man, Jimmy, and that's elimination right there, guys, with an exclamation the point, no less. No. No! Daniel Fryan! Oh, he's out. Your final four are The Rock, Triple H, Aiden English, and uh, Jimmy Uso. On a terrific reversal by Jimmy Uso. Oh, man. What a downer. Oh, boy. Man, my TLC predictions got totally thrown off. I mean, I think Angle and company are still going to win. I just don't think he has it in him anymore. It's going to be, it's going to feel weird, though. Uh, and I bet you, it's like, um, the Finn, and now the Finn and AJ match really is wide open. Um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's totally wide open now as to who could win that one and how it could go down. Because the original, the original dynamic was Sister Abigail and Finn. That's easy to figure out. I mean, I think that Bray was going to win that one. But now that he's gone and you've got this basically, it's kind of like an exhibition matchup. Who do you have go over and how do you do it? Because I don't think you really want either of them to lose. Um, because they both need to get their momentum. Oh, shit. Aiden English. Oh, he almost eliminated the game. Oh, my God. Yeah, but yeah, I think that that one's gonna end in some kind of bullshit finish. I think. Um, 
Sister Abigail will get on the big screen, or Jinder Mahal's will interfere. Maybe we'll they'll both do something. Way. That'd be funny. Oh, boy, that uh, and been bad, Michael. Then, yeah, both guys will just count it out. They'll be so confused and dumbstruck wow. and Jimmy confounded. If WCW had the IP for the gesture, when WWE bought and stood in the IP for it. But I don't know if they own the IP for too sweet. It's like Kevin Nash said it best, like, somebody first did the peace sign, and who put the copyright on that shit, you know? I haven't seen the one sweet. I hear it's amazing. <laughs> All right, your final two. One of these guys is going to go to WrestleMania. Ah. <laughs> You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Here we go. Triple H with a oh, pile driver. That's a fine. A big old fine. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Hmm. Triple H. Oh, getting it countered. Okay, place your bets. Who you got winning this thing? Triple H or Jimmy Uso? They're both kind of in a similar situation here. Not today. Uso Penitentiary. Oh man, he's, he's putting Jimmy in the corner. Nobody puts Jimmy in the corner. He's going for it. He's got to get him out. Pick him up. Hit it. Skip. Dip. Dip. He's got him. He got him. He did. Triple H wins. Triple H wins. The Royal Rumble. Silliness. Why do they care about a hand Here's gesture? Because they can make money off it. That's exactly why. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at the man who will main event. Point to sign, WrestleMania. Four and a half star, Royal Rumble. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm going to wrap up the stream here because I'm tired and I need to unwind. Uh, but yeah, crazy stuff happening today uh madness from three hours ago it was reported that roman reigns and bray wyatt are out from tlc due to an illness meningitis they got the itis they got the itis real bad and um roman will be replaced by kurt angle who's coming out of retirement for the first time he's coming he's back in a wwe ring for the first time since 2006 and then Bray is being replaced by AJ Styles. And that opens up a whole new world of thoughts and predictions for what's going to happen. Uh, I think everything else, my other predictions stay the same. If you go to my page, if you're a Patreon supporter, patreon.com slash wrestling with regret, for as little as a dollar a month, you get access to my non big four pay per view predictions videos. I put that out this morning, then this news came out, which blew everything up. Uh, you know, all my match predictions are going to stay pretty much the same except for those two matches. I think Angle and Ambrose and Rollins will still beat. Team Miz, the Alliance to end Shield Mania. Although now I wonder what's going to happen with Finn and AJ. I think it's going to end in some kind of bit where um, I think I think AJ is going to win after the distraction from Sister Abigail on the screen. That's my that's my prediction for that match. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you guys uh, you know. Uh, I think there won't be there will not be a Tuesday stream because I'll be out of town still. The TLC review will, might be a little late because of the same reason. In fact, the TLC review might be my Tuesday video, or I might just put up, might be lucky enough to put up Monday. We'll see what happens. That's the scoop right now. And if you're a Patreon backer of the five dollar up variety, you get access to my Thursday videos two days early. So if you sign up for Patreon now as a five dollar plan on Tuesday, you will get next Thursday's video. This week's, of course, was Zack Ryder and the rise and fall of him, and so. Uh, this next week's theme is going to be, it's going to be Halloween themed, a little spooky, it's a little scary, boys becoming men, men becoming wolves, that sort of thing. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. If you, have, if you got a couple bucks to spare a month, go to patreon.com slash wrestlingwithregret. The t-shirts, prowrestlingtees.com slash wrestlingwithregret. Uh, if you buy my t-shirts now for the month of October, the proceeds of the shirt sales will go toward United for Puerto Rico. I'm trying to do, help them out a little bit after their uh, devastating hurricanes. And then, yeah, go to Facebook.com slash Wrestling With Regret, Twitter at Z-Man Brian Zane. This has been really fun, guys. Uh, the dynamic changed significantly when the news broke. And uh, 
please excuse my rambling and repetitiveness for those of you who've been here the entire time because I did repeat a lot of the same points over and over again. Uh, that's what happens though when you're talking about live news and not much information comes out beyond that. But it's all speculation at that point. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm Brian Zane. We'll see you next time.